being hugged by a thousand tiny clowns. Like it's warm and inviting at first, and then you realize they're clowns, and you're like, I well, don't want this experience. Y'all a me, bunch let, of babies. Let, let me let me let me flip this on off of you guys, and let me go back to chat real quick. And uh, hi, chat. Fuck you! It's January. Oh, well, there goes our YouTube bod. Yep. <laughs> yep. You can't curse within For the first minute, Zito. Come on. Well, I might as well fucking start cursing as well. Then. Yeah, oh, might as well. Who God. cares? Might as well fucking start cursing. It's all gone now. It's fucked. I can't believe it. Also, yes, I mean, it is January. I, I, I'm sorry, chat. You had to wait a whole year for another Unexpectables episode. I'm can't waiting for yeah. the entire year. <clears throat> it's obscene. So, am I the only person in the world that isn't scared of clowns? Aside from Zito and um, Willy Boo, can I, I can I ask why don't clowns scare you? Uh, because they don't look threatening. Yeah, because they... you want to know why? I never watched Killer Clowns from Outer Space or any other dumbass B movies. That Killer Clowns that from Outer Space is not a scary movie. That shit is a comedy. That's a comedy. <laughs> Every single time they die, they explode with the same explosion used for the Death Star. All that right. movie did not scare then me. Then you've given me more of a reason not to be afraid of clowns. Um, I'm afraid of clowns because of real life experience. I was afraid of clowns before I saw it at the age of six, which was also a mistake. Are you um, kidding me? That shit was a comedy too. No. You've got, you've, I almost said Jim Carrey. God, I wish Jim Carrey was <laughs> just <laughs> freaking. No, you, you. <laughs> Let me show you something. <laughs> you've, got Tim, <laughs> you've got Tim Curry crank calling kids through a book. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but those aren't the scary parts of the of the scene. None of it's scary. Yeah, Did you see that spider? There's this dude scary, taking scary a shower and an evil tentacle comes out of the fucking drain and That's kills him in clown, the shower. That's not a clown, Mark. It's not a clown. And then the clown shows the up afterwards and fucking makes yes. it all useless. And the clown is the same creature. They're all but the same the thing. It's not a clown, Mark. It's part of the clown. You don't see the clown, do you? You do. How much? And he laughs at you. Wait, Th that's what the, clowns do. Based on the context, does that mean that we only just imagine the clown as a collective audience? <laughs> that there's no actual clown. There in is it. no actual clown. We just fucking all put it there as a safety measure for our minds and sanity. It's this is an SCP. Like it's a it's a legitimate I, like eldritch abomination. This movie um, and our brains mm -hmm. just create a clown to make it safe. Yes, My brain just create clowns all the time though. Welcome I would to the Expectables, like... everybody. <laughs> Yeah, well, good to the Expectables, everybody. This is what you signed up for. I hope you're ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you stop playing D&D &D for one year, and then this is what happens. We become the clown podcast. <laughs> the clown podcast. <laughs> the clown cast. No, um, no, 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 no. Guys, come on. The honk cast. Oh, Come right. the fuck no, on. No, that's, that's bordering into territory that we are not allowed to return to. Who says I honk, Zito? Are you Chad stuck at home, Zeta? Chat's saying it. Oh, I get it now. You you just you just under it for press memories. Thanks. Bro. I told you. I, this yeah. is why we can't be hot cast. Connor, I take see. us away, please. Hey everybody, welcome <laughs> back to the Unexpectables. You. It's the first game of the year. Hey. Uh, let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves uh, in, in case you forgot who we were. Uh huh. Maybe we won't start with Gaijin this time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll switch it up in the new year. Let's 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 go in reverse order. Let's start with Zito. Let's, uh, okay. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, uh, made a lot of uh, a lot of announcements over the past week. You can find them on my Twitter at CZ Backlash or on my Patreon at Zito is Nito. I don't need to. Re re I don't have to repeat it here because it's big, long, and basically just like it, it's time to move on new new shit 2023 is here baby a uh, new demo reel is out i'm i'm working on some new shit i'm uh most of my homebrew stuff kind of just like ate total crap because of what happened over the like last quarter of last year but i'm starting to get back into it and add a bunch of other things to it so i'm i'm hoping that 2023 will be way more productive and way more positive Indie games will happen, shit will occur, writing will happen, comics will happen. 
I went down a fake Mon rabbit hole, so that'll apparently show up on my YouTube at some point. Yeah. Or, yeah, brother. Uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you, and what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com, at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life uh, I am actually, I've been working on music again uh, for the last couple of months. I have like four or five tracks in progress right now. Uh, so definitely follow my Twitter if you're interested in my music side. Um, those things will be coming out hopefully within the next couple of months. I can't give a deadline on it because I am a being of pure uh, creative influence. And so when I'm not feeling it, I don't work on them. But yeah. Uh, Two of them in particular uh, feature some uh, wonderful vocal artists that some of you might be familiar with. So I'm excited uh, to share those with people when I get that finalized and finished. Uh, other than that, um, tomorrow I will be jumping back into the digital world uh, with some Digimon World 2. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, friend of the channel, LJ, will be joining us as we peruse uh, the digital world and try and save Mr. Zudicorn from uh, diabetes. It's going to be great. Right on. All righty. Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, dying, apparently. Uh, hey, everyone, Gaijin Goomba here. I've had a fever for three days. Uh, it finally broke, but my sinus infection has not left me yet. Uh, you find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H. Um, <clears throat> did a build stream not too long ago. That was fun. Um, there's not a lot of new games coming out. Well, no, I take that back. Come next month, there's a freaking... Uh, <clears throat> wild hearts that's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun um nothing really big to announce i do have a new video coming out this weekend i believe it's gonna be an extremely spicy take that will possibly kick up some drama only at me so y'all don't worry about it um but it's important uh but i also plan on bringing uh culture shock back proper like old school culture shock back proper uh in february uh, that is probably going to be my new shorts content because that's what it was originally. It was like one, two minutes long. Uh, I had a lot of fun putting together. It was really easy to put together. And uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of stuff right now, but I'm still under, uh, I'm, I'm heavily medicated at the moment. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll be in touch. <laughs> That's it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was <laughs> just got distracted by something. Thank you very much. Uh, Edward Bosco, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me at all the same places that I am normally at. Uh, I just want to take a quick second to uh, offer my thoughts and prayers to the uh, family and friends of DeMar Hamlin. Anybody who watches football saw what happened on Monday Night Football. Uh, it was extremely scary. Um, and it was nice to see that uh, DeMar's uh, GoFundMe has raised $7 million for kids, but uh, he's currently fighting for his life in intensive care, and so I just want to offer up my prayers for him and the, the whole Buffalo Bills organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, obviously echo that sentiment as well. I hope he makes a, a, a swift recovery. Swift and full. Uh, Monty Glue, where can they find you and what are you up to? Oh, goodness. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, my YouTube uploads are consistent now, so if you want to check out any of my stuff that you may have missed, uh, it is on my YouTube, which is the same. It's Monty Glue on YouTube. Um, tomorrow, potentially Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We have a player missing, so we might have to kind of do some workaround stuff. We'll see. Um, so we might have a person missing, but if not, then it'll probably be a day off. Uh, Monday is going to be still Mass Effect. I'm actually having a fantastic time with it. Who knew that by removing the fall damage on the Mako, it makes the game infinitely funner. <laughs> uh, uh. 
So uh, yeah, I've been enjoying that uh, quite a bit. I keep wanting to eat the aliens because they look like crabs. Um, Monty, <laughs> still? Yes, they look delicious. The Monty, keepers look delicious. Leave the it's keepers a... alone, Monty. <laughs> I'm sorry, they look good. Anyway, you can find me there. You can find me on Twitter. I'm trying to post more art. Um, so keep your eyes there. <clears throat> Bobbity boopity. That's it for me. What'd you say? Bobbity boopity. What? Well, come on, Zito. You speak Italian. <laughs> I, I know. I'm, I'm a little offended. Sorry. No, you're not. I, le I learned it from you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're not supposed to be sorry, and there you truly have learned. The student has pa surpassed the master here. My Canadian blood. Italian. Italian. That's, that's that's. Yep, yep, that's yep. Canadian She's Italian. Italian. <laughs> what about uh, you, Connor? Well, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, I think I'm gonna start shaking up my content in in the new year. I'm gonna I'm gonna it's gonna be business as usual for a little bit, uh, but once I get done with some uh, projects that I, I I'm working on that you guys are gonna be hearing about pretty soon, by the way. Uh, just 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 letting you know. Uh, you uh, check out check out uh, various news sources and places where you can find news uh, about about unexpectables related things. Uh, but yes, um, hoping hoping to hoping to start doing doing some doing some different stuff. Also, I turn thirty next week. I can't wait to disintegrate when the clock strikes 12. <laughs> I can't believe I'm not here anymore. Being I know you're past the age of 30. I just don't exist anymore. Uh, the the energy being known as Mark Allen Jr. <laughs> the, the sky is not with us in physical form. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am like the clown in it. I'm just the collective fever dream of society. Exactly. Uh and yeah, they they can uh did I say you can find me on Twitter, Twitch and YouTube.com slash distortion double. I might have. Uh but yes. Uh also check out my DMs guild where I'll be releasing uh some fifth edition content, including the Reaver Conclave for the Ranger, which is in production. Uh yeah. Other than that, uh, an another 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 fun addition to this new year is that we are still sponsored <gasps> by Die Hard Dice. Die oh! Hard Dice! Oh, I missed you. It it's been a whole year, and now I can use my Die Hard Dice again. That's right. Die Hard Dice, as always, in, in this new year, is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you are looking for the, the, the perfect... A uh, refreshing pair of dice uh, for the start of New Year's. Uh, then head on over to dieharddice.com. Pick yourself up some dice and dice accessories. Uh, use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. Uh, and with that, uh, got some other people to thank who donated some business us. Business serves! You have 12 minutes. That's uh, I think that'll be more than enough. Starting uh, now. Starting now. Like to Booyah123. Thank you for getting a tier one sub to Azul J. Hey. Hey, we know that person. The Drifter of Time and Space. Thank you for the 10 subs gifted to the community. Dragasoon, thank you for the 250 bits. Let's go racing to Decimating the Pearl. Callum Draws, thank you for the 10 bits. Personally, I like jesters more than clowns. Not because I'm scared. Clowns just make me sad. But why? They can fit in tiny cars. Yeah. <laughs> you That's the reason? Yeah. I mean, I can oh. fit in a tiny car if I try hard enough. When I was four years old, I saw a clown at a Taco Bell, and that was enough. <laughs> Just babies. be a real Punchinello fellow. Burger. The Dang Master, thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. Henry Skelleman, thank you for the 200 bits. I can't take it seriously because of the kiss me fat boy scene. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird scene. <laughs> Night uh -huh. Neptune, thank you for the 200 bits. Bits to celebrate the first episode of the new year. Wishing you all good rolls. Uh, 
uh, Mickey D92. Thank you for the uh, 33 months. Pseudonymic fake name. Thank you for the 31 months. Uh, all clowns one shot when. Hmm. I think we might need the Willy Boo in on that action. I was gonna say uh, that's we should get Willy if we ever do that. You need Vince Baba Ganoush, thank you for the he's he's back. He's back. Yay! <laughs> right you are, Ken. Uh the drifter of time and space, thank you for the two thousand five hundred bits. Happy New Year. First time watching live. Thank you for filling my work days with last adventure and more than what did I just hear? <laughs> Uh, Midnight Road White, thank you for the 33 months of Prime. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 30 months. Our party of Dark Souls heroes are back. Shame I can't stay, but I'll catch up in the Grand Archives with that second Crystal Sage jerk. I don't know what that means. I don't know. 33, thank you for the uh, 11 months. 11 months of Unexpectables. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. First session of the new year starts with Goomba and Mark yelling about clowns. Good to be back. <laughs> Yay. Hey, welcome back. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, good to see that nothing has changed. Shadow Flare, thank you for the 33 months. Dark Lord Popo, thank you for the 27 months. Happy New Year. Hope you enjoyed your break. Glad to have you back. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, everyone. How's the year been? Uh, short. So far. <laughs> <laughs> four days. Four, four days have only transpired. What a year, huh? And so much has already happened. <laughs> now I gotta, do, I gotta do my taxes tomorrow. Oh God, don't bring and that the up. The prom is tomorrow. Uh, King Shinrock, thank you for the twenty months. Uh, Raiko Moonscar, thank you for the fourteen months. Dax Z ninety nine, thank you for the thirty three months. Just gonna drop in here and save the vod for later. I like to listen to them while I work. Fair enough. Kobold with a big gun. Thank you for the 33 oh, months. Oh my god, they upgraded. <laughs> Started the year off strong by coming out to my grandma who is super supportive. Hey, congrats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hope the rest of you, the year works out well for everyone. Grandma, I have something to tell you. I have a big gun. Yeah, yeah we do. Good job, <laughs> Shut <in. laughs> Is this big as mine? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go. Montague. Thank you for the 23 months. Let's go. Unexpectables are back, baby. Protoss 103. Thank you for the five bits. Happy New Year, gang. Not feeling well. Can Milo heal me? I could try. There you go. More three <laughs> the toast. The Take months. two of these and call me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, finally, it's been a year. I don't see you at all. Uh, I, I, uh, it's been a year. I didn't. I did. Uh, 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 have a great game. Also, next month, the magic number. Give Gaijin a sun toast. I think it's the first time in a long time someone hasn't called it Sky Toast. Yeah, that's the way it should be. <laughs> oh, give me a minute. King Night Owl, thank you for the 26 months. <coughs> Moon the Dragon, thank you for the 20 months. Been waiting all the year for this. I make things up. Thank you for the 32 months. 32 months of beauty and nonsense. Thank you all for the beautiful tabletop action. I, I and W. You. Joe. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And W. Joe. Thank you for the 33 months. More Thrandor. Thank you for gifting. Uh, is that 15 subs to the community, I think? Wow. Oh my god. Thank yeah. you. Bob. Thank you for the 26 months. Or 27, rather. Fell behind the last few episodes, but I just caught up in time for this one. Hey. Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. Mass Effect is only really fun if you never forget Jenkins. Fucking. I can't escape it, man. <laughs> Crow the Immortal, thank you for the 33 months. Rotoryu, thank you for the 31 months of Prime. Uh, Arch Majos Dragon, thank you for the 17 months of Tier 2. Monty, there's a massive Zelda mod for Skyrim, thought you should know. Oh, jeez. Someone actually put in White Run into Halo. What? Yeah, White Run is now an entire Halo map. I'm that's, not shocked, actually. That's actually amazing. Is it like a capture the flag map? That'd be great. No, like a like straight up deathmatch map. Oh Ooh. my god, that's fun. <laughs> uh, X Wiley Willie, thank you for the 33 months. DDR Russian, thank you for the uh, 29 months. Happy New Year! Looking forward to another great year of watching this channel. Sakido, thank you for the 15 months. Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the 32 months. 
Deluna 13 to give her the 31 months. Sadly, caught the bug going around, and I'm sick. But they say laughter is the best medicine. Aw, shucks. Callum draws, thank you for the 40 bits. When I was out buying Christmas gifts, I found out that one of my game shops sells Die Hard Dice. I was able to get some for my brother. Hey, nice. nice. Yeah, shop local. They they actually have pretty far reach with how far they sell their <clears throat> dice, which is great. Oh, yeah. Vonavon, thank you for the 31 months. Happy New Year's. Five months until three years. Let's get it on. Renfield88, thank you for the 33 months. Gorn ZX 55 thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, just to tell you that I have been wa binge watched the original Unexpectables over half of 2022. Truly, the new year has started well with me. Goodness gracious. Damn. I think someone broke it down and said if you watch all of on Campaign 1, it would take you 33 days straight. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, please take breaks if you're binging. Yeah, <laughs> yeah please sleep. <laughs> sleep, eat, use the restroom, all the important stuff. While you're sleeping, listen to us on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Consume. I watched Run. the whole show through osmosis. Whoa. Uh, Volk551, thank you for the 100 bits. Praise the dice patron, Diana. Indeed. The Percocizers, thank you for the 100 bits. Goss21, thank you for the 5 bits. Remember to... Uh, remember, you gotta put down Kai. He's infected. You can't save him. It's true. <laughs> Don't worry, we just gotta, gotta cut off his leg like Herschel. Uh, Lorian Ross, thank you for the 15 months. Happy New Year, y'all. Here's uh, to a 2023 full of magic, mystery, and wonder. Common Strider, thank you for the 13 months. Glad my friend told me about y'all. Now I have a Power Ranger campaign where my friend uh, is the evil ranger <clears throat> that shows up to fight the party every now and again. Ooh, interesting. Oh, that's fun. Nice. I know Probate does, I think, like a Power Ranger game. Yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah. I think he's taking a hiatus right now, though. Yeah, he's taking a break right now, unfortunately, but. Yeah. Uh, Ace Bounty, think of the 255 bits. Who's ready for another year of the Unexpectables? I found last year to be quite delectable. With our hero side quest paid and done, how long before the group will be undone? Who knows? Uh, Midnight Hunter. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. Turning 31 in a few hours. Uh, have some bits for the great game you guys play. Sorry to hear that you'll be disintegrating in a few hours. Oh my god. Oh. Happy uh, birthday. <laughs> oh my god. god. I turned negativity. 30. I turned 39 Make sure this someone year. someone catches your ass. Ugh, Jesus God. Christ, God Connor. damn it, Connor. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just hold an urn under my arm like a football. All right, get in. Jesus. <laughs> You gotta be standing on top of the urn. Whoa, Make sure you have waiting. a broom ready. That, a it's like it's like DPC <laughs> fighters get in the jar. <laughs> okay, get uh. in. One sweet girl <laughs> here in 14 months. Clowns are weird. That is undeniable. Mol uh, uh, Multi-purpose thinking for the 100 bits. It's Bosco's birthday soon. Don't let him get away. Is it? I don't know. We'll never tell. Probably. <laughs> no one really knows. Mm -hmm. Mad Tom K, thank you for the 32 months. Closing in on three years, well spent following this campaign. Apusa Monkey, thank you for the 33 months. My year's <clears throat> been long already. I'm going to get a new job and move out of my toxic parents' house. Adulting happens in bulk in 2023. Ah, uh, damn. Gaben's Prophet, thank you for the 20 months. Almost a funny number. A lot of things have happened while I was catching up. I got married, moved to Alaska, and she's already interested in D&D, so I can't wait to share you guys with her. Hey. Don't, don't get eaten by a salmon. Hello, uh, Gaben's Prophet's wife, whenever you get to this point. Mrs. Yeah, Prophet. Yeah, this Mrs. is for Prophet. you. Yeah. Don't don't get eaten by a salmon in Alaska. <laughs> there you go. Lord also, Servitor. Connor, you have two minutes. Uh, I think I got this. Lord okay. Servitor, think of the 100 bits. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just read the names. Sahin NZ, think of the prime sub for seven months. Storm Fox 116, thank you for the 30 months. Masamune 84, thank you for the 23 months. Drago Soon, thank you for the 250 bits. Meek the Bassist, thank you for the 33 months. Ivan the Vandal, thank you for the 28 months. Your Conscience, thank you for the 1,100 bits. Uh, about seven halflings, thank you for the 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Quactopus, thank about. you for the 13 months of Prime. 
Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 2,500 bits. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the lead bits. <coughs> Humdrum Gum, thank you for the 31 months of Prime. Protoss 103, thank you for the 5 bits. Uh, Death Hawk Down, thank you for the 10 months. B52 Makes a Silent Night, thank you for the uh, 13 months. And Random Face uh, 80560, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hey. You guys ready for a world of wonder like no other? Oh, let's go. All right. Six, I? Six, I almost six. just said something really, really bad, and I'm glad <laughs> I caught myself. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> uh, all right, everyone who is sick, whether you're on the cast or at home, let's get into it. Welcome back <laughs> to the Unexpectables. When last we left our heroes, Milo Brightbeam, Otho Valentinius, Kai Valentinius, Gaius Agni, and Iskan Seat Lolly, the party is roadbound once more. After solving a case in Quincunks and dealing with strange nightmares in the night, the party now returns to Eastonvale with the Orb of Necrecta in hand and a goal in mind. And as we return to the sounds of Axebeaks treading on the earth, I'd like someone for me to roll me a weather roll. Okay. I'll do it. No. Oh, all right. Go ahead, Zito. <laughs> no, it's no. Do it. Okay. Choose the form of your destroyer. Uh, stay puck marshmallow, man. <laughs> oh, oh, six, ten, and three. Okay. Six, ten, and three. Okay. The form is chosen. <laughs> the form has been chosen. And it is a beautiful and bright sunny day. Yeah, let's go. You're welcome. No Milo. wind. It is a beautiful day. I didn't choose anything. <laughs> <laughs> also, sorry, I was muted and I was like, I'll do it. And then everyone else chimed in. I'm like, oh, what no. did you pick? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry we didn't hear you. No, nah, that's my. As you guys take off over the fields, striding on each of your axe beaks, it's amazing how fast you go compared to your walking speed. You notice, albeit the terrain is sort of consistent, it is just rolling large hills and shelf-like rocks that have been kind of slightly upgrounded. You begin to see signs of places where you guys had stopped to rest, and they quickly zoom past you as you ride very swiftly on the back of your axe beaks. You do stop every now and again, allowing the Axe Beaks to drink from a errant creek and kind of chase butterflies, uh, specifically, um, I believe, uh, which one was it? Where are your names? Oh, goodness. Looking for them right now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, not our code names. I'm, the names of the Axe Beaks. Your, yeah, your Axe Beaks. <laughs> We've got Pazuzu, Don Beak, 
Walker, LJ, Schloff, and Hideon. I believe it was uh, Pazuzu, maybe. No, Pazuzu was the tank. Yes. yes. Someone had the one that was easily distracted. What what, what was that one? That's name? probably Don Beak. I think no, that's no, no, Don Beak is that small. Was Kai's. Don Beak is tiny. Okay. So that was oh right, it was LJ, LJ. yeah. Yeah. yeah, LJ yeah. loves <clears throat> butterflies, you've become to learn, and will absolutely chase them down. Um, but as you guys reconvene, <clears throat> very quickly over the horizon, you begin to see the familiar sight of a large windmill gently placed on an upwards hill on the landscape. Is it uh, starting to hit nightfall? Uh, about this time, yeah. It's starting to get mm. a little bit dark. Is this a familiar windmill? Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm. We uh, is. we camped out here after we almost died from exhaustion. I don't. Yep. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember that. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sure you don't. That didn't it's happen. never rained in Martorala. What are you talking about? Soon, <laughs> soon, 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 I'm looking at you, Bridge. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, I have, I have eleven ways to deal damage now. Soon. The closer we get to the bridge, the more violently Gaia starts. Vibrating. I'm just shaking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll probably tuck in for the night. Okay. You guys want to stay at the windmill? Uh, if they will allow us. Yeah, yeah, they'll allow you. They give the you. They don't feed you because you know sure. they don't really have a means to do so. Uh, but they let you stay inside of the windmill specifically. There's plenty of space there for your axe beaks and for your party to lay down, and it's covered. Mm. It's you know keeps you from the elements. And uh, yeah, you guys rest up. Be sure to write off a ration. And mm. I, unless you don't have the spell prepared, uh, Milo, I expect yeah. you to refill everybody's water daily. So if you ever remove that spell, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Oh man! <clears throat> wow, turf reopened D and D Beyond. <laughs> it's, it's been eighty-four years. Sponsor oh. us, <laughs> uh, please. Wow, that was right in the year. Oh, sorry, oh, it sorry. worked so well last time. It's all sorry. Good. I did not. I was actually like an entire length away from my mic. I didn't expect that to work Monty? so well. Sorry. I know. You're breathing into the mic. I am. <laughs> 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 Shame. Never again. Shame. Shame. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, hey, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. I, hate, I, I hate to be that guy, but I was—I I probably should have like asked you like way ahead of time. I was considering offloading some of the gear I have for cash. Sure, we could do that real fast. Or if you're okay with waiting, maybe we could do that after the session. Oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just well, mark off the ones you want to sell, and then we can we can process that later. Actually, because I I would like to like take that off my weight. <laughs> no worries, I totally understand. <laughs> what are you talking about? You have a carry capacity well, of like nine thousand. No, no, I have I have a carrying capacity of two hundred and seventy five. I am at two ten. You can carry me and my stuff and be fine. Yeah, but I don't want to take that fucking chance now, don't I? What if he finds a cool rock? That's yeah, really what if I find this really cool fucking it's a rock? Really big I'm gonna rock. throw your ass over the bridge for the rock. Wait, how'd you find the rock on the bridge? I, it's listen, a bridge. Listen, I'm a fighter. I have various ways. I have eleven <laughs> ways to deal part damage. Of the bridge. Yeah, I just ripped the whole bridge from the foundation. I want this now. This bridge is mine. Oh, like Twilight Princess, it. Let's just grab a bridge. All right. <laughs> So as you guys rest for the day, unencumbered travel the previous day, I need another weather check. I'll do it this time. Okay. All right, Milo. Okay. Shit. <laughs> ah, what did you choose, <laughs> Ray? <Hello. laughs> All right. When Monty asks for the weather, you say clear. Okay. 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 The good news I, is it's, typhoon, it's not typhoon. a... It's not a storm. The bad news is, imagine a very muggy rain shower in Florida. Oh, oh so good for me then. Can I still play yeah. things? Yeah, Eastcan, you're thriving right now. The rest oh, of you, God. it is like warm and wet. Can I still wield an axe? Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> no, it's too wet for axe. No, nothing, Slips. nothing, and nothing <laughs> was changed. <laughs> <laughs> As you wake up in the morning and say goodbye to Sam and Grant and their daughter, 
you guys remount your axe beaks it's it's not miserable i think it would be worse if it were cold and wet but it's mm -hmm. still like <clears throat> uncomfortable it's still florida your clothes are yeah. sticking to your skin yeah, your all your hair for those who have hair is like matted to your brow, and it's just kind of have to kind of brush it out of the way, and it's like uh, mixing with your sweat too. So it's like there's sort of like a stinging sensation in your eyes. Haha, <laughs> this sucks. And there's also like just a smell of the road in general. Like there is, you know, on occasion you crest a hill, and clearly the horses have been down here, and there's a sort of muggy farmyard smell that kind of sticks to your clothes there's a lot of mud and, and grossness but as you guys proceed forward very quickly you begin to hear and see the sounds of a river up ahead and sure enough you see that stone bridge that you had once crossed over i would like to look for hiding goblins big same all right go ahead and roll a perception check <laughs> 19 Eight. Oops, hang on a second. <laughs> off to I... a great start. There we go. Starting the year off right. <laughs> My goggles are all foggy. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> uh, Milo, as you kind of like, <clears throat> I like to imagine you like grab Don Beak's beak and go, <laughs> like kind of hit it like a lever <laughs> and the legs just grow slightly <laughs> as you get a vantage uh, point. It's like a Yoshi. Crank it up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Iskan, your your goggles are fogging and all of the green is homogenizing and uh, Milo, like mm -hmm. a gopher, you watch as a head just hides behind some shrubs. All right, I see you out there. This is your one chance. Stand down, give us back the money that you stole from us or I'm not going to be able to stop my friends here and they want your blood very, very bad. No, I just want the money, but the blood's fine too. I would say because of Gaius' comment, go go ahead and roll an intimidation check with advantage. <laughs> hey, I actually have half decent charisma. Uh, 20? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you watch as coming out from, like, being shoved out of the shrub, <laughs> stumbling forward comes a goblin. Uh, notably, he has a cape made out of squirrel pelts. Oh. <laughs> Sudden PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> You watch as this goblin kind of narrows his eyes and looks at you and goes, Hey, we robbed you! I, yeah. I just... Yeah, I just yeah you did! Him. You <laughs> fucking did! It's probably not a good idea to admit that. But it was so easy, though! Yeah, and you know what else is easy? Giving it right back. This is your last chance. He looks at all of you. I'd like everyone to make a group intimidation check. <laughs> I will say this, you are drenched, but so are they. So, you know. <laughs> I, I, I may be drenched, but I'm the guy wielding a great axe, double my size. That's a 19 for Iskan. 18 for Milo. Uh, that would be a 12 throw, though. Give me a second. It's taking its sweet time loading. I apologize. <sighs> In this it's case, you don't need to watch the quiet ones. Watch the ones who are talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to imagine Gaius is like tapping an axe in his hand. <laughs> like ready. <laughs> Jesus. Which, okay, no, Monty. Gaius looks up at the sky and asks God, which one? <laughs> <laughs> the goblin's eyes narrow and he goes, hmm, and his like mouth goes kind of flat. And then he goes over to the shrub and goes, Starts talking to the shrub, and the shrub, like, literally smacks him. It's like, you just gave away my position, you asshole! And he's just like, oh, shit, sorry. Um, <laughs> I, Gaius, holding the axe, still tapping it, now walks over and towers over the both of them over the shrub. Oh, God, we're consulting. Oh, my God, you're so tall. Um, okay. We have come to a consciousness. I think that's the word. We will let you pass. Consensus. Yes, that too. We will let you cross for free. I lean down, getting like face to face with him. No, give Roll me back what you took. Roll an intimidation check. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. Okay. <laughs> he watches, he leans over and he goes, 
<clears throat> what did we steal from you again? It was 30, 30 copper, copper pieces. Yeah. Okay. He watches, he goes over, and like at this point, all of the goblins kind of poke their heads and are like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> uh, there's, there's six of them, all stationed around this bridge. Uh, and they kind of consult each other, and these guys are not smart, so I'm going to see how well they count here. What does Walker look like right now? <laughs> Walker is just, like, laser eyes right now. Like, there's, like, a single, like, you know, like, a laser pointer? Like, when you when you hit a laser pointer on, and you, like, stare at it the right way, it, like, glimmers in your eyes. That's currently what's going on with his eyes right now. Uh, the goblins kind of all consolidate and huddle, and then they all kind of, you watch, it's, like, it's almost like... <laughs> It's like a bunch of teenagers at a McDonald's trying to figure out how much stuff they can buy with the money they have. They kind of pull out their money and they walk over and they hand it to you. Um, clearly, they don't know how to count. Because they hand you more money than they took from you. Let me find what they gave you here. Uh, they give you uh, 33 copper pieces. And a bear claw. Well, I like the donut? I was going to no. say. <laughs> no, well, like an actual, ooh, actual bear claw. <laughs> I'm going to give you a stale breakfast. donut and money. <laughs> uh, are they handing it directly to Gaius? Yeah, they give it to Gaius because he's the scariest. Milo's scary too, but Gaius is taller. No offense, Milo. I'm none taken. There you go. I hoist the money and the bear claw. I kind of just like put it in my pack. I stare back down at him. I mutter into his ear. The contract is sealed. And I pat him on the head and walk away. <laughs> they hey, all guys. Kind of... Did you count it? Oh, I count it. Oh, yes. Here. I pass it back to three. Oh, thanks. You guys are great. Come back here so we can rob you again. Uh, something to say about that, actually. Uh, no more Robin. No more Robin here. You need to leave. No. Uh, you have really... nowhere else to go. You can't go well, further south. Well, that's not south. our problem. You can't go further south where the, where the rest of the goblins are. I mean, isn't there no. an easier way for this to happen? Instead of making it robbery, you could just say it's a toll. That's actually a good idea. If you can no. maintain the bridge... Well, tolls have to officially be sanctioned. But you gotta admit, it goes down smoother than saying robbery. Maybe. Well, times are tough. It's hard getting in with a goblin gang these days, you know. Well, I'll tell you what. What if it was your job to take care of this bridge and you charge a toll to take care of the bridge? Whenever there needs to be wood replacing or stone replaced or anything like that. We could do that. And they call, I call, kind of look at it. He goes, I don't want to do that. Like, Shut up. And he smacked the one goblin. Guys, can I do a funny thing? Go. Go ahead. <laughs> are they, I'm gonna, real quick, real quick. The ones uh -huh. who are smacking the guy, are, is it like a <clears throat> shut up? We're just trying to get them to leave or are they being genuine? They're being genuine. He's like, okay. I don't want to do that. And they're like, shut up. This is a good idea. They, something of note with these goblins <laughs> Compared to all the other ones you've ever met, they are far skinnier and smaller. And they definitely look like they've been, like, probably hanging out here for a really long time. Um, the one wearing, like, the squirrel pelt cape, who kind of is the main speaker right now, seems to be the, like... He looks kind of, like, the most, like, survivalist, I guess, if that makes sense. Monty, this has a... Th th this entire scenario has a Dwarf Fortress patch notes feel to it. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Uh, of um, note as well, one of them has a shield that is a book. Huh. Is the book different? It's like, what does it say on the book? The book on the cover, it says the Book of Thunder on the outside, and it looks like they just, like, lashed it to, like, a handle to be used as a shield. The Book of Thunder. I, I, I look at that. Gaius looks at that goblin. I'd be willing to give you back this bear paw for that book. But this is my shield. Can I see it I for made a Oh, no, no, I understand. Can I see it for a second? I'll give no, it back. it's mine. 
Do you have a spare shield? <laughs> I, I'm, that's I'm, I'm thinking, dude. I'm thinking. Hold on, <laughs> hold up. No, I have to have something in here that is the equivalent that I could give this man. Uh, <sighs> I just had a really stupid idea. Wait, wait, work. wait. I, what if I gave you a shield with a stick on it? Can I see it? I pull out a shovel. Roll deception check. <laughs> 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 18 oh my Jesus. god i rolled a 15 i'm swindling <laughs> these idiots oh it's by the way it's huge for this goblin this goblin's like the smallest and they literally go that sounds like a fan to you here you go and they hand you this uh book that is like it's like lashed with like hemp and rope to like a little like a pothead handle to become like a makeshift shield and as you give them the shovel, it's like giving a child like a massive like sword. It just clangs to the ground, yeah, and they gonna, like drag it around. It's gonna be the guts of goblins. <laughs> <laughs> shovel Knight music play starts playing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Milo's gonna dismount and and head over to the the apparent leader. Oh. All right, look. Here's the thing: if you take care of this bridge, and you be nice to people, you take care of the bridge. If you have to have a toll, they have to have a toll. But you be nice. I'll give you this, and I hold up. Uh, I'll hold up a gold. Oh! All of their eyes just dilate like cats. <laughs> it's the aliens no. from okay. the Toy Story. <laughs> all right, now you need to you need to use this to take care of this bridge. All right. Okay. Do I need to incite them to make sure they're not going <laughs> to spend it on something stupid? Go ahead, try. I guess. The next time we come back, they're all playing Pokemon. What the hell? 14. 14. You get the sense that they are not going to spend it on anything stupid. You get the sense they never spent your coppers. So they probably don't know what to do with money right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got this! What now? And what? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the energy you're getting. It's like, cool, we're going to take care of this bridge. How do we do that? You know what, oh, I don't... Yeah. I have an idea, says another goblin. I will start. There are people to the south and to the north of the bridge. That's right. Tell them that we're friends, and then maybe we can fix the bridge for them. That's not a bad idea. All right. Yeah, all um, the goblins are like, oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, all of them sort of nod, just like, yeah, 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 okay. Uh... I don't have any, we don't have any way of talking to anyone in the south, but we're heading north so we could tell that big fort up there and Adam, okay. uh, Applebottom Fields, there were people in there, right? Like, yeah, I, and they okay. were sketchy, if you they recall. They were very sketchy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and they almost ran us out of town. Well, do what you can. Uh, we'll try to pass the word along and uh, okay. no more, no more hiding, all right? Un I unless they shoot you first. And then but you we're hide. scared. But but you, you gotta be brave, cause now you're the caretakers of this bridge. You gotta protect it. You gotta be brave. Oh. They all kind of look towards each other, like, I, like all think about. It. They go, okay, but when it rains, we're gonna hide, cause it's warmer in the shrubs. That's fine. That's fine. You, you know what? Maybe to help you be a little bit uh, more brave, I'll give you this too. I'm going to give them the one steel short sword that I have. Oh, it's really big for them, but it, it's like they take it. The leader takes it. He goes, all right, this looks very official. I like this. I like this plan. This is a good plan. All right, just but do your best. Yeah. Don't tell, don't tell any goblins and ogres that we're here, okay? That's fine. If, if, if they show up, you hide right away. Mm, okay. What's up, guys? I, say, I was about to say good idea. Oh, okay. Okay, well, you can go now. All right, okay. well, thank you for doing the right thing. Give them a thumbs up. They all, like, kind of, like, don't know what that is, so they all try and emulate it, and one does a thumbs down, and the other one smacks him. He's like, oh, it does a thumbs up. <laughs> I was hoping he would pick his own nose. <laughs> the one with kinda... the shovel is currently like, I'm fixing it! Is like, smacking the shovel against the side of the bridge. <laughs> oh, oh, no. This was Lord. the best idea. <laughs> Eastgun's going to lean over to Otho. 
Uh, is there any way that we could send a notice to get them, like, commissioned or something? <laughs> I just imagine he turns to you with the biggest fucking neutral face. <laughs> Blank face, Otho. <laughs> this whole situation is, frankly... What is a nicer word than idiotic? Stupid. Hopeful. Well, not for me. Good luck getting anyone to agree to letting a group of goblins maintain a bridge <clears throat> in Matarala. Everyone get a squirrel pelt and start rubbing! And they all begin to grab squirrel Wait pelt. Wait a fucking second. They what don't even the... know... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. They, Otho's just gonna gesture. They don't even know how to maintain it. Yeah, but if they get commissioned, someone can show them how. I have an idea. Who is our ogre friend we met on the road? <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. I don't have my notes. I can't help you. <laughs> Okeg was his name. Okay. Yes. I have someone... Well... You may be afraid of ogres, but I have someone, if you find him, you could do trade with him, perhaps even work with him. They're all, like, wiping the bridge with squirrel pelts right now, and they all stop and, like, stand up. The leader kind of walks forward and goes, Um, an, don't know much about business making. Bridge fixing, we could do that. We could try. Well, you'll need <laughs> items to ma help maintain the bridge, and I believe that someone, an ogre by the, uh, by the name of Okeg, he may be able to supply you. That's actually not a terrible plan. Okay. We'll think about it. Ogres are mean. You don't not, like them very much. Well, he's one. with the new ogre wife. Uh, I think her name Eleanor. was Eleanor. Kind of, they all cock their heads and goes, don't know about that. Is that to the, um... They kind of point past the bridge to the uh, north east area. It was, it was northwest. It was wasn't northwest. It? Oh. it was it was southwest. South southwest. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and they're they're pointing no, northeast. They're, they're uh, in the opposite direction. That way to the uh, the southwest. Oh, oh we'd wait, be more uh, okay with them. Here's an idea, and. Uh, Eastcom's going to open uh, his pack and pull out the portrait of uh, ogre wife Eleanor. Uh, she kind of looks kinda... like this. God, she's hideous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe yeah, say that don't, to her face. <laughs> don't say that when you meet her or when you talk to Okeg either. Uh, we'll be too busy trying to keep our vomit in. Oh, boy. Jesus. Uh, she probably subjective. looks better than this in real life. This is a this is a painting. Hmm. Okay. But anyway, it's a better situation to get yourself into. I mean, it's better than you killing us with that choppy block thing. And he points towards your axe, Gaius. I just like hold my axe across my chest. <laughs> yeah. Yield Money, really block. quick. Are are there any points on the bridge that? would need mending at this time it doesn't look like it's damaged it just looks like no one's caring about it but you guys know that again this road leads to east and vale and no one goes to east and vale uh, so that's probably why it's kind of like literally the only signs that it's of use is literally the goblins that are here <clears throat> um the leader goblin kind of goes well you've been very weirdly kind to us um if you're going that way, and they point past the uh, bridge where you're going, you have to be careful of the... Um, there's an old fortress to the um, the the northeast. Ogre wife big bad Bazazug lives there. Where are they pointing? They point to the northeast. Like in the direction of Fort Divinity or further to the east? Uh, it looks like it's like they're pointing more further to the east. Yeah, where you pinged right there, I think would be kind of apt. Okay. Closer to the mountain base. Mm-hmm. And that was probably going to be our fate if we stuck around in Applebottom Fields. 
<laughs> so I propose this. We don't go to Apple Bottom Fields. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of choice. We can go, go through around. it, but... I was about to say go around. Well, around takes us either through that small forest or closer to the ogre camp. And we don't know what's in the forest. But Supposedly. The, the alleged forest. Alleged forest. Those are only <laughs> allegations. Right. <laughs> you have no proof it's a forest. <laughs> you know, those trees I, are I don't see a forest. I just see a bunch of trees. We're a glade, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> gentlemen, I think I, I might have an idea about that predicament as well, if, if you'll have a listen. Hi. Why don't, since we're all making friends here, why don't we camp here for the night and actually go past Apple Bottom Fields, get out of the way, stay on the road, but not in that area, and then maybe not have to worry about it as much. What time is it? It's like probably like, like middle of the day, like noon. Rebu kind of walks up and he kind of goes, well, uh, it's not exactly great weather for traveling anyway. It's pretty rough. I, I mean, we could just rush through potentially, you know, go through the night if we want to push the axe beaks, but we'd be risking, you know, you mentioned the, well, I actually remember it. There's a fort, right? Between here and Eastonvale. Right, Fort yeah. Divinity, yes. <clears throat> yeah. If we push forward, you know, risk the exhaustion and get there, we could probably rest there, assuming nothing happens between here and there. I mean, we can just run through Apple Bottom Fields. It's not exactly a town. It's just a bunch of farms. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. If we stayed here, because we've already been traveling for half a day. Problem is, this is above board, you cannot actually sneak in a long rest when you've had one really recently. You have to spend more time awake first. Well, we're Can not going we, to bed yeah. right, right, right now. We're not going to bed. We're He's just, just oh. saying, like, stop travel. We're just going to stop travel. traveling here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, like, maybe we, maybe teach the goblins actually how to maintain a bridge and structures and things like that. Sure. I don't teach know. the goblins I about infrastructure. My, I keep clicking on my bed, but it keeps saying that I'm not tired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Monty. I'm always tired. I have all this chicken in my inventory, but it won't let me eat it. Uh, hey, Monty, yes. I also want to ask, uh, so what's up with this book I just found? Uh, do you open it? Yes, I do. It is a novel. Mm. It's a hardcover novel. Let me grab the information about it here. Uh, you kind of skim through it. It appears to be a seafaring adventure novel about a half-elf, like, kind of debonair-type characters. You kind of flip through. There's some illustrations, too, inside. Uh, one image catches your attention, though, as you see this debonair-like character in the palm of what appears to be a massive giant that it seems hmm. to be kind of emerging from the ocean. Oh, I'm keeping the shit out of this book. <laughs> what was the name of it again? Yeah, shit the doesn't book. go in books, Zito. You can't... Wanna... The Book of Thunder is what it's called. Uh, thumbing through it, does any of the text like look like legit giant, or is it actually like someone's like interpretation of what a giant language would be? As you thumb through it, it is all in common. Posers, posers, all of them. <laughs> all right, fair enough. I'll hold on to the book though. Okay, you got it. That's like a three hundred gold. That's like a that's like a three hundred gold shield that they were using, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's the most expensive item we've encountered the whole game. Oh, it's not even a fucking magical item. It's mundane as shit. <laughs> so, money. It just... is. It is not in the best of shape, though. It's like the pages are wrinkled, clearly due to the moisture, uh, and the cover does have some dents where clearly something shot this book. But surprisingly, it didn't go through the cover. So you know what? Good quality. Um, just above game, for whatever anyone else wants to, Milo would actually try to teach them not only about structural integrity and maintaining stone and wood for what he may know from home, uh, but how to how to properly ask for donations for maintenance rather than say, we rob you now. <laughs> also, with Iskan's background, would I be able to give them some instruction <clears throat> in, like, the most basic form to, like, 
um, oh yeah, cut basic like business exchanges and stuff like that. Sure, I will say, uh, Milo, go ahead mm -hmm. and oh gosh, I would say roll a persuasion check just to, to show them like give an example can i um, guidance this this is important no this is long form. oh okay it's gonna that's be over fine. a course of time uh east scan what? i would say yeah, survival boy. if that would work for you survival. um you do have a you do have a decent background so i would say survival with a low check uh, okay i have a question Sure. Let's just figure this out first and then we can i can help sure, you sure, 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 unless it's um, unless it's urgent okay 16 no it's not mm -hmm. Okay, 11. Uh, Milo, as you kind of, like, stand up the goblins and have each of them, like, take to it, the one that uh, yeah. currently has the shovel, like, just on their shoulder, like a gut sword, uh -huh. take, takes to it very well. Very personal, very friendly. Like, hello, welcome to the toll bridge. We would like a toll, please, for maintaining this bridge. Oh, he's going to fucking rock diplomacy, dude. <laughs> please and thank you. Oh, he's, he's, he's fucking got it. He's got it. You know it. what? I'm going to give him... A, that, that was such a good job here. Here is my toll, so to speak. I'm going to give him two silver, just because, dang. I oh. did it! I did it! He sticks his hands up in the air, and the other ones, like, run up to you, and they're like, please and thank you, toll, please and thank you, and just, like, clamor around you like children. <laughs> How many of them are there? There are six of them. Uh, You know what? I'll give them. I'll give them two copper each. Gaijin, you literally just gave them back and then some of the money they robbed. From I us. was like, and, and, and also, this is, don't this is, don't instruct them to to get collect a toll from the same person for each <laughs> goblin. That's gonna be worse. No, than I robbing. know that's that's part of the education, but I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to use positive reinforcement, Mark. They're robbing all over again. <laughs> it's bad business. No, it's an investment. <laughs> All right, Eastcan, as you sit everybody down and give them a business lesson, um, you get a lot of questions um, as you discuss, like, commerce and the, the exchanging of gold. One puts up a hand, like, what if they've got, like, a really cool thing? Uh, well, uh, well, there are plenty of systems where you can do an exchange of goods or services, so uh, it might work if they don't have any money. Um, but also a lot of those things have a higher value than what typically a bridge toll would require. Uh, so they may not be as willing to part with those things. They all like, like they look glazed over. <laughs> it seems very dense for these goblins. Uh, I'm just, uh, can we accept like other things in gold or is it standard issue to just accept gold because what if we want like a hat or something well how would you use clothes. a hat to fix the bridge <laughs> bro they just want a hat <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to teach them business sense <laughs> Yes, I'm the ridiculous one, Mark. I'm the yeah. ridiculous yes, one. Yes, because I don't want them to accept payment what? in the form of a hat. <laughs> what if we get a hat and we rub it on the bridge to make the bridge better? What if they rub it on the bridge, Mark? Well, Come on. That'll just that'll just make the hat worse. Well, that's okay. They all kind of lose. That's fine. So we can live with that. <laughs> I, I was I, not meant to be a teacher. I, I, I fucking wish we could play Sea Shanty from RuneScape right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. it screams it. Well, okay, here's the thing. The money's important because it's how you maintain the bridge, but I suppose if the bridge is in good shape and they don't have any other means of paying, you know, what whatever if you agree to. we're hungry and we want food? Can we take food as payment? If they agree to it. Mm, well, okay, they all kind of nod and agree to that. Like, that makes sense to them. Eastgun slowly turns into Alphys from Undertale. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, Monty, real quick. Uh, uh -huh. because, they, because they seem to struggle with the concept of damage and repair, um, could I purposely, like, cause a slight amount of damage to the bridge and then immediately fix it with mending so they can see the process of wear and tear and then fixing, like, what actually would physically need to happen? 
I will say I'll I'll put a pin on that because I do want to see what Zito wanted to do. Okay. Because Zito's cool. patiently waiting. <clears throat> and you've already kind of done your thing. So okay. I'd rather leave it open for other other people. Uh for Zito, it, what would you like to do to help the goblins learn how to be business folk savvy and maintain bridges? <clears throat> I want to give babies knives. I want to. I am an athlete. I want to teach them how to defend themselves. Okay. All right. You gather up the goblins and uh, the one with the shovel who refuses to part with it. Now, like another goblin tries to grab it and they like, <sighs> and the other goblin's like, ah, gets kind of scared. <laughs> uh, you kind of line them up like a little bit of, like a soldier line, and uh, yeah, go ahead for me and either roll a athletics of your choice. I would say athletics probably be the best just oh, for like yes. general combat. Soft oh. 20. Okay, wow. you teach them how to do, like, headlocks and, like, how to, like, uh, sort of, like, you know, get into a defensive phalanx position. I taught them CQC! <laughs> you did. <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, they are now you very them... martial, very polite martial fighters with an shaky business sense <laughs> you like teach them a scenario and they like get really into it to a point like one of the goblin fake dies and they begin to have like a shakespearean scene of that goblin dying and there's like crying involved and you're like oh my god um they <laughs> seem to be very with them. yeah they, they seem to be very attentive and their combat has improved they'll be more defensive now they're not going to be as like offensive but hell yeah I want to give them tiny little spears, <laughs> little helmets. <laughs> okay, we're not training them to be an army. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you. Yeah. Shit. This started I'm, as give us our money back, and it has I turned will... into you work for us. This is our pet project now. <laughs> <laughs> this started off as we're going to murder the shit out of these goblins. Next thing you know, we're making them into a no, militia. No, I have no, told no, everyone no. I know that these goblins are dead to rights, and now look at what's happened. <laughs> and we've given them more money than they took from us. Dungeons and Dragons, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> See, and everyone thought we were just going to be murder hobos. Surprise. Um, I would say the other thing you guys probably help them do is, like, make a toll booth. Yeah. Out of, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Out of, like, mud and sticks. You guys gather some wood in the nearby woods, and they make a little toll booth that has a sign over top that says toll booth. Nice. Oh, it's spelled wrong. We have to name the they... bridge. Is the bridge named? Uh... I have it noted down as the Apple Bottom Bridge, but it is not officially named, no. Ooh, we should get the let's, goblins to come up with a name. Let's name it! John. John? John? The lovely name. John Bridge? John Brit? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, God damn it! Oh, the streamer in me is screaming. <laughs> Motherfucker. There's the John Bridge toll booth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, today, right. we, today we're making uh, Alton history. <laughs> There's like the one of the other goblins makes a little side post that says, Welcome to John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to. Guy, looks at the sign and just like looks at him and just like shakes his head. You forgot something. What? <laughs> I find the E in welcome and make it backwards. Nice, perfect. Oh my god. I was just gonna say it's spelled like this. W E L K U M to John. J A W N. Monty, can we can we get that label officially placed on the map, please? You bet your sweet cheeks you can get that label placed really fast. John. John. <laughs> I've waited so long for this. So many Pardon me, are. my dear goblin. What bridge is this? John! <laughs> no, no, that's not my name. It's a whole Abbott and Costello thing. Uh, <laughs> Who's on first? <laughs> What's on there you go. John? Come to a world of John. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. He watches like one of the pieces of the toll booth falls off to the ground in the rain. Gaius claps. Now this John is a home, and it's all thanks to you. Well, just make sure you take care of it. Uh-huh. I'll feed it and walk it every day. Uh, that's impressive. Uh, if you're not minding, can we stay here the night with you, and we'll be on our way the next day? 
Yeah, of course. We awesome. like you. You haven't Excellent. tried to kill us. Well, you did try it first, but you didn't really do it. I, you know what, too? I'll, I'll, I'll help get dinner put together. How about that? We'll okay. get some fishing in and, and get it cooking. And... Oh, you don't need to catch anything. He pulls out, like, three dead squirrels. <laughs> you should teach them how to fish. He's just immediately yeah, I'm, uh... heaving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Reb, by the way, this entire time, Reb has been leaning up against the side of the bridge, just smoking, just watching this happening. Oh, that's fine. And the moment the squirrels come out, he went, nope, nope, not doing that. No, nope, no squirrels. I, I appreciate it, but let me show you how to make something really tasty. How about that? Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to go fish and try to teach him to cook during the evening and nighttime. Okay. You guys kind of <laughs> I set recommend up upstream from East Gun. <laughs> the axe speaks to uh, some of the goblins like climb all over the axe walker is given a wide breath uh dawn beak is the most popular because it's the most accessible of the birds uh-huh and they kind of like pet them. they have a lot of fun with them um you do prepare a lovely fish stew after teaching them how to fish um do you give them some supplies to fish or do you take the supplies with you i uh, i've only got one set of, of of tackle but i i try to explain to them the process um okay like, maybe if they're able to spear fish or grab, like, a uh, shallow water fish, just... Are any of them monks? Oh my no, God. none of like them are monks. Wise. They're all goblins. <laughs> Their well, class but... is goblin. <laughs> is there a specialization in the goblin class that allows you to do the thing where you karate chop the water and come up but, with a fish? But they can, my, they can understand the concept of bait and things like that, I would assume. Yes, they understand so. the concept of bait. They do not understand the concept of Mulan montage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is that this river goes really, like, it goes deep. It's kind of in a valley. Mm. So it's a little mm. hard to access, but you, they seem to talk about there's a probably a shallower place they could go in the forest. Yeah, Body, they seem receptive. If this was three point five, what prestige class would they be? <laughs> Don't ask me these questions. Double goblin. Um, <laughs> Double I, goblin. I'd, I'd I'd love to explain them the concept of shellfish and crawdads and other slow moving sea life that they could eat. Okay, you tell them about it, and and they they all seem to be like kids like learning about the natural world. Oh. You do make a soup. And you hand it out to them, and they drink it, and then one of them goes like, "Disgusting!" And he grabs mud and puts it in, and then keeps it. He goes, mm, "Better!" And they kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, you Gaia guys. Shakily, have... Guy is shakily reaches for mud. If anyone wants to slap his hand and stop. <laughs> no. Him. Eat hey, the mud. Try anything once, right? I Gives mean, that yeah. nice gritty texture like mom used to make. Oh, what were you saying, Monty? I said it's, it gives a nice gritty ten no, texture that mom like. Before the dirt. <laughs> you all sit down, enjoy it. Do you even cook the squirrel or you just leave it? I'll cook the squirrel for it. No. It's fine. No! You cook the squirrel. Oh, oh. Uh, the goblins eat the squirrels very easily. Um, but you guys sit down and have a meal with these goblins and they play their shitty little music. They have like little songs that they sing and uh, yeah, they tell you about themselves. Um, the leader, by the way, is Screb. That's his name. Oh my god, that's a great name! <laughs> I'm Screb. I once worked for the ogre wife that I pointed out to you. Oh, Bazazog? Yeah, she sucks. Wow. I have, a, I have a feeling you might enjoy the other one we pointed out to you. They sound nice and just hideous, which, you know, what can you do? <laughs> But, um, yeah, no. They've got a deal with the humans, you know? What kind Do of they, really? Though? Yeah. Well, we used to raid them all the time, the humans, and then we came to an agreement where they would give us those things, and then we would just take it, and we wouldn't attack them anymore. Which, uh, which humans did you have an agreement with, exactly? The ones past the bridge up that way. Slow turn towards everybody. We would ransack them once a month, twice a month, sometimes five times a month. They get really tired of it, and they said they were done with the bureaucracy, whatever that means. And they said they'd kind of do a deal and lack of other things that they could do. What do the ogre ives uh, or the ogres get in return? Food. People food? Yeah. Oh, good. 
<laughs> Not like Wait, people you... eating food, but more like food for people. Oh, okay. Meat. Oh, okay. oh, God. <laughs> I was thinking that backwards. Yeah, I was like, I was like, uh, people food as in food made of people? No, Sorry. no, no. Like, like, like square dogs and um, dogs with horns that taste good. Well, I'm glad we didn't associate too terribly much with those people. They might have sold us out as well. Why's that? Maybe they did. You don't think, do you? It's starting to feel like a really good idea to avoid the town. Well, that's why we're bedding up here, and then we're just gonna hoof it all the way north. I mean, we it probably shouldn't even pass through it at this point. If you want, since you've been so very good to us. Um, I could go with you through the woods. I know my way through there. And what? I can make my way back. That sounds like an amazing idea. That would be it's also a good excuse fantastic. to restock on squirrels. <clears throat> uh, what do you think, Rabu? Would the uh, Axe Beaks be able to go through the woods? We'd go slower, because we'd probably have to walk them through and not ride them through, but... Yeah, I mean, if you guys don't want to go to this town, to be fair, it does sound really sketchy and kind of weird. It's not a bad idea. We'll have cover and we can take our time and we have a guide, so it won't be too bad. With the assistance of a guide, I feel like this is the best course of action. <clears throat> I agree. I do as well. And it is a deal! See? He points towards you, uh, Iskan. Business! <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's really good. God, we're so good at this. God, I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once you finish up your soup, we'll take to the woods. Uh, we need to sleep first. <laughs> what once time of day sleep, is it right now? <laughs> we'll go to the woods. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <clears throat> if you're feeling cold, you can join our sleeping pile. Oh, so that's all right. We've we've got our own sleeping pile, but um, you know what? Here's another thing too. I'll p we'll do another business deal. How about this? I'll pay you to keep an, a watch out for us, so we can all get a good night's rest. How about that? Okay, that's great. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, and you said money. There were six of them. There are six of them. Yeah. I will give them six silver because I am a good hey, boy. Ma okay. Hey, Ga Gaijin. <laughs> yeah. Gaijin. Do you think we could have it be a little bit more impactful if Gaius gave it to them? Yeah, if you want to do that, go for it. Yep. <clears throat> for for the sake of for the for the for the trade of them guarding us while we sleep at night, Gaius stands back up, puts his axe in his hand and taps it, walks over to Scrib and hands him six gold. Uh not six gold, six silver. Six silver, you got it. He goes, Alright! All right, man, listen up! And he kind of barks orders at Whoa. all the goblins, and they all <laughs> literally now are, like, standing guard with, like, their their weapons and the, 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 the shovel and the, the, short, the short sword, and they're all mm -hmm. standing on each corner, and they're keeping a diligent watch now, as you have six goblins, uh, minus Scrub, because Scrub needs to sleep because he's going to go with right. you, mm -hmm. um, yeah. all keeping watch for the night. Um, before they wow. go, he puts the goblin with the shovel in charge, uh, what you find and discover is actually a female goblin. Um, uh. Her name is Krubba. Krubba? Krubba. Yeah, Krubba. Uh. Yeah, it's very soft-spoken goblin. Krubba. 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 <laughs> <And> Krubba. <laughs> I imagine you guys set up your tents for the night. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. All right, you guys settle in. Right off your rations for those who didn't eat the squirrel. Uh, he made fish stew as well, right? Yeah, yeah, fish stew was made, but that was you know rations still. You needed the supplies to make it. So we're still marking off a ration. Yep. Yeah, mark off one ration. Okay. All right, you guys sleep for the day, and as the dawn dawns, I need a weather roll, please. I will do it. Do it, Zito. Make John proud. Oh, sorry, that's one. Hey, 13, not bad. 13, 12, 7. 13, 12, 7. Okay. <clears throat>
Monsoon! No. <laughs> no monsoon, but it is gusty when you wake up. But not like violently gusty. It's just a little buffety as like you awaken windy. in the dawn. It's like it's... a front is moving out of the system of the earth. Yeah. And... There you go. Thanks, Mark. Um, Weather. Really, really, really <laughs> quick. As as we wake up, two bonus XP for myself and Gaius. Right, XP. Got it. Or wow. not XP, HP. I'm sick and tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> He's got the can't sniffles. Believe, can't believe how, Milo how and Gaius get to level much, up before the rest how, of us. How, how, much how much experience do I get for introducing civilization to goblins? <laughs> hey, you had help. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get solo XPs. Do I get? Uh, as you guys awaken, the goblins are still keeping guard. They look, like, weirdly manlier in the morning, like, as if they've undergone some sort of transformation. It's oh, we strange. turned into gargoyles. They, they evolved into hobgoblins overnight. <laughs> Swole! <Out the> door. <laughs> if we give them names to they become more powerful. Oh, uh, I've seen this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they already have names, so, uh, no. Ooh, okay. But you guys wake it in the morning, and then Scrub wakes up, and it's just like, "All right, you're good to go." I think we are. Who am I? Um, <clears throat> who am I riding on with? He smiles his big toothy smile. If he wants to get on, uh, if he wants to get on Pazuzu, Pazuzu's huge, so hell yeah. Right. He sits on his head. You like could oh my god! You could, yes. you could lodge him in Pazuzu with his head sticking out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's, so, his his skull <clears throat> is now Pazuzu's hat. <laughs> Yep, basically. Good. All right. You guys mount up, and Rebu kind of mounts up and goes, well, that was an interesting day. All right, we're going through the woods, are we? Yep. Well, it's like an interesting it. solution for an interesting problem. Everyone stay here. If anyone comes by, ask for a toll and be very polite and nice. Also, repair the bridge. Scrub it down with the squirrel skins. Now! And you watch as they all kind of... Uh, go and begin to work on the bridge that's actually uh, above game really quick that's actually not a bad idea because that's essentially cleaning it it's 100 percent cleaning it they're swapping the deck <clears throat> yeah mm -hmm. they're swiffering the bridge all right the rest of us let's move out and off we go it's like yeah. pointing and then i just like like nudge pazuzu <laughs> not that fast no <laughs> 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 At one point, as you're riding with him, he turns his face around. He's just covered in bugs. Oh, God. <laughs> Is he eating them? Oh, yeah. He's just, like, kind of wiping them off his... Like, mm. like a cartoon, his tongue comes out and licks them all off. Like a windshield <laughs> wiper. Big swipe. I, I, just, I just imagine that, that, like, the walking speed of Pazuzu is so fast for this goblin. It's like that episode of fucking uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends where Cheese screams before they go down the fucking hillside. Oh, man. Wow, I'm the only one who got that. Fuck yeah. I got it! Right. Thank you. I just, I don't remember much of the show. I watched it. I remember liking it. I just didn't, I don't remember a lot. I, I hope to old. God that someone in chat got my <laughs> reference. I believe in you, I chat. Have... Cheese, right. the most annoying character in existence. Uh, no, that's not true. Because Fred and the annoying orange exist. Ah, yes. My mistake. Anyway. I... I was about as... to be really fucking terse if you said Fred Fred Burger. Come on, guys. As you guys make your way forward, you begin to actually see some trees. Um, they're it's a lot, mostly birch trees and like a few like errant pines, but it seems like uh, very thick with uh, grass and other things. Uh, and it is at this point that uh, Rebu kind of stops his axe beak and dismounts and goes. Yeah, we're gonna get caught in these thickets. It's also uneven ground. We should be safe. Oh, well, that's good. All right, follow me. And we go onward. And Watch the walk. brambles. The what? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I would like everybody as a group make a survival check. You all have advantage because you have a guide with you. Hell really yeah, one. brother! Fourteen. Natural twenty. Mm. Soft twenty. Nice. I can't find <clears throat> the key for my advantage again, so I'll just click it because it doesn't want to work. There we go. Thirteen. Thirteen. Good okay. lord. This 
It makes sense, Eastcan. You're very tall, and this is a very, like, not tall friendly wood. Um, you're constantly having to duck, and that is really getting in the way of you being able to see. Uh, this forest is, it has trees. It's, it's a stretch to call it a forest, but it's mostly thick brambles, very, very tall meadow grasses that haven't been, you know, eaten or culled. Um, and a lot of birch trees. Some have been fallen, some, you know, some are just, like, cracked in places. It's definitely not a place you'd want to go for a camping trip, because there's, like, very uneven ground here. You guys kind of gently lead, uh, your act speaks through the, the woods. Scrub points out specific spots just to look out for, um, like, just kind of divots in the ground where you can easily twist an ankle. And, uh, the act speaks... Mm -hmm. Pazuzu has the hardest time. There are times where that bird has to squeeze between two birch trees and just, like, unsunders them away from his body. <laughs> um, Donbeak has the best time because he's yeah, small yeah, yeah. and kind of darts around everything like a little like a little kiwi bird. Nice. Just hear little spring sounds as he... Spring. Uh, Rebu is not as pleased. There are times where you can just hear him like, fucking god, he's kind of like trying to pull out brambles from his hair and kind of flicks them away, and he seems kind of annoyed. But he's sticking with you guys. I I, I feel so happy that I actually rolled a nat 20, because that fits Gaius like, perfectly. <laughs> yeah, Gaius, you're having a great time. This is very easy to trek on. The divots in the ground are non-issue. You just kind of slide down them, like, they're just kind of for fun. You're very used Wee. to thick woods, so... Oh, Scrib, I had a quick oh, question. I, I, I forgot I'm like the only fake creature in this party. Yep. <laughs> uh, are there any kind of uh, fruits or berries or nuts that go around here that'd be safe to eat? We ate some of those once. But only we... once. What'd they look like? Red and bright. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all right, then. I'll, I'll keep an eye out if I see anything like that. Nilberg never made it. Yeah, I don't think we want to eat those. Reddish the grass one, tastes think... good, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just fucking unironically eats grass. I love I mean, this food. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but Gaius could probably eat the grass. I was grass about to say, yeah, Gaius like, just has a, cl a clump of fucking like, soil in his hand and he's eating it. Don't rock it until you try it. <laughs> All right, that's all I was curious about, Monty. Moving on. <laughs> As you guys move on ahead a little bit, you actually can hear the sound of the river kind of along your travels. And at points, you do see it does kind of get a little shallow and kind of spreads out wider, more traversable. And Scrub even points and goes, we can do that fishing thing there. All right, it'd probably save us some rations if I could catch anything. Oh, right now? I thought we were trying to get you through the woods as fast as possible. Yes, we are doing that. Okay, above game, I wasn't sure how far we'd get. So, okay, well, no worries. He, Ignore he it. you're in a hurry, so he's getting you through as quickly as possible. Yeah, fucking yeah. rules. Hell yeah, get us through here fast, dude. Yep, yep, yep. I wasn't sure. My bad. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted. I wanted my measuring tape. One. <laughs> where, did this, where did this extremely violent weapon come from? All right, so you guys get about here as it begins to get dark, and even <clears throat> Scribe goes... Oh, um, can you all see in the dark, or you all kind of, um, can't see at night? Um, I actually can see in, at, at, at night. It, it's a little hazy, but I can do it. Do you want to continue, or do you want to stop and camp? Because, you know, got a long way to go, still it's dark. Um, what do the rest of you think? I say we bunker. I'm really worried about the axe beats. And Rebu. Turn and look towards Rebu. I hate it! Oh, he had like a pine cone in his hair. I fucking hate the woods! <laughs> he's like, his scarf is caught in like a bramble and he's like, come on, come on. And there's like a ripping noise. He goes, no! He's like, he's like fucking like fist fighting with an opossum in the side sideway over there. <laughs> I'd say we should hunker down too. We've got lots of cover and we have a guide who knows the area, so. Okay, sleep pile! <laughs> All right, set up camp, I guess. Yeah. All right, you guys set up camp. It's kind of difficult to set up your tents, but you do manage it. It's like there's no real clearing. Like, it's all very divity and, and not super great. It's you not raining, kind of, though, right? 
no it is still clear day um you kind of managed to find an in between between the woods and like the river itself. It's like the only kind of clearish space, and it's a perfect place for the axe beaks to be because they can drink water and, and eat if they need to. And yeah, you guys set up your tents. Uh, what watch do we want to take for the night? Uh, put me at earliest morning. Put earliest me at morning? darkest night. Batman. I can't see so good. Maybe I'll take first. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the middle. Eight. Let's put, the middle let's put of Otho after E scan, and then we'll put. Uh... I'm the creamy center. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I did want to ask uh, if, if I may, Monty. Um, yeah, go it for is. It. It's kind of rare that we ever camp out near water. Could I do fishing to try and save us the ration? Sure, go for it. <clears throat> okay. Right now, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'll make sure. We. That's a nine. That's probably not much. <laughs> nine. You catch like a tiny little one inch minnow and you're like, oh, dang it. Yeah. And you kind of let it go. Beans. Sorry. Take it and eats it whole. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Uh, I guess the fish aren't biting all that much. Attach script to the net and throw them in. <laughs> Attach script to the line and throw them in. I'll do the karate chop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I tried. Sorry. We, we got rations for days. Oh, I know. Yeah, we it got just, rations for eons, dude. Every little bit helps. So, all right. I guess we'll start <laughs> our watches. Yep. All right. Kai. Oh, no. <laughs> how are you sleeping for the night? Sleeping like normal. Scan, go to roll a perception check for me. All right. Disadvantage or no? Uh, it is dark as hell. There's also a lot of like shrubbery, which protects you, but also makes your vision impeded. So with disadvantage, unfortunately. Gotcha. This is like, I will say this, lighting a fire here would be a disaster. No, if we're it were not. To catch we're anything. Not. Of course. Now Aww. I roll an ad 20. Aww. It's Aww. fine. 18, 18 total. Yeah. Yeah. 18 pretty good. As you keep watch for the night, let me get the appropriate sounds here. Oh no! We'd be bad to start a fire here. Nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> All of your companions kind of sleeping around you. You hear like movement in the woods. You kind of stiffen, and you see kind of emerging some from some grass, a bear head, like a bear, just kind of hmm? sees you. Just turns around and leaves like nope. <laughs> that that lizard is bigger than me and has glasses. I don't want any of this. Wait a minute. There's no trash can here. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the Boy Scouts? <laughs> but beyond that, your watch goes without a hitch. Alright, I'll wake up Otho. Alright, Otho, you are woken up. Oh boy. We, we fucking missed an opportunity. <laughs> Excuse me. We missed an opportunity to do a Yogi Bear impression. Sorry. <laughs> you got any picnic baskets here? Hey, that's a good uh, ration no. you got there, boo. Mm. You gonna eat that, cobbler? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Otho. Are you shifting or are you gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shift. All right, go ahead and roll with uh, regular roll. Ooh, 19. 19. You kind of keep your eyes out and kind of listen to your companion snoring lightly. In the river, you kind of look over and you see a fish jump out and splash and you almost feel bad for Milo. Oh. <laughs> you keep your eyes out, your eyes peeled, and you don't hear anything and your watch goes without a hitch. All right, I'll go and wake up the next watch. I think that'd be right, me. All right, Milo. Mm-hmm. Go and roll a perception check for me. <clears throat> oh, boy. Uh, here it goes. You have dark vision, right? I do. <laughs> That's a 10. Sweet roll. Wait, was the disadvantage for me having... Nope. No, you shifted. You shifted, so you, didn't, you lost your disadvantage. Well, 
I have dark vision. <clears throat> yeah, it's just yeah, a straight so it's roll. it's a straight roll. Okay. Because it's just regular oh. perception. Yeah. Okay. You good, buddy? <laughs> yeah. No, I was. I was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, the, the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, I was wondering, is, is the disadvantage because it's dark? You didn't have disadvantage. I had disadvantage. Yes, you because have, it's when you're normal, when you're unshifted, do you have dark vision? Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oops. I have advantage because I'm a wild hunt shifter. That's right. Ah. Okay. There we go. Well, either see, way, you see a fish, so. I'm glad. I'm glad we finally got a complete sentence out. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bear pats you on the shoulder, <laughs> just nods. <laughs> Milo, uh, between the foliage and your companions, mm -hmm. you're kind of just cleaning up the pots and pans that you used to cook the night before, and mm -hmm. you, you know, just kind of in the river, just doing your own thing, and yeah, you don't see anything as you okay. you're watching. As I wake up, guys, oh, guys, you're out. Uh, d did you want a light, by the way? Oh yes, I hold up the the hooded lantern. Here, I'll save you some oil if I can, and I'll just poke the lantern internally, cast light on it. It'll give you an hour and it's not going to cover your entire shift, but it's a little something. Much appreciated. Get some rest. Alright, be and safe. Guys, Fucking... go ahead for me and roll a uh, perception. Hell yeah. Seven. Seven. Kind of uh, using your lantern just to keep a little bit of a perimeter check. As you kind of roll the lantern around, like, Scrub goes, no! And kind of like Pulls his like squirrel pelt cape over his eyes. <laughs> at one point, you turn the lantern and you see eyes staring back at you in the woods, like reflective eyes, like you know animals in like headlights when they have those really creepy green eyes. Uh, oh fuck! Okay, just uh... staring back at you. You kind of jolt, and then you see the head of a large deer just kind of turn and continue through the woods. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Only put the hand axe back. Good for it. <laughs> <laughs> and the sun begins to rise and creep over the horizon, and I need another weather check, please. Let's have Otho do it. Uh, are we sure? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're next in okay. line. Okay. Here I go. Let's weather. Oh, goodness. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. A 14 and 8 and an 18. Okay. I don't like that tone. It's going to get dank, yo. It's going to get real dank. It is not a turbulent storm. But it is a sheet of rain. Luckily, you are in a forest, so it's slightly tempered by the, the trees above you. But now, instead of dealing with like just the rain, there are bits of tree that are falling, and Red Boo at one point is like, I hate this place! I love this place. It's alright, uh, we should be out of it pretty soon. Yep, we're almost out! You all gather up your things, make your way out. Through the woods, it becomes slippery though, that's the only downside, there's a lot of tripping hazards, and the axe speaks just like miserable. But eventually, you do see the edge of the forest line open up, and Screb kind of walks out, and it's like, I did it! I led you through! I did a good job, Screb. Uh, you, you know, I was wondering, should Screb come with us all the way to Fort de Venli so there's actual proof that, you know, these goblins are caretaking the uh, John Bridge? That's actually very fair. Also, it might be good to have them tell the folks there what we heard about Apple Bottom Fields. Yes! That's, that's also a very good idea. Yes! Uh, yeah, that's you're gonna be a hero. Really? If you don't I don't know what us, that means! <laughs> it means a lot of people could really like you, and you do something good for everyone. Oh, he you watch as he, he gets, like, pink cheeks, and he kind of blushes. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, so he's sticking with us till we actually get to the fort. Yes, yes, he is. <clears throat> You watch as Rebu climbs onto. Of... Of... Yes, get back on top of uh, Pazuzu. Yeah. Yep. Rebu is like climbing up desperately on the back of his axe beak, and he, as he sits down, he just drearily says, 
this is my hex beak. I belong here. And just kind of nuzzles his head into the neck feathers of his uh, of his hex beak. Uh, I, I hope this doesn't come across as rude, but I mean, couldn't you just take the form of something that's not as affected by rain? <laughs> the face he gives you. Just imagine the face he would give you, and that's the face. <laughs> Okay, sorry, it was... And you all think Otho's the racist one. <laughs> that was not a racist thing to say! I mean, geez, I'm can't like... you be something else? <laughs> <laughs> not what I said. On <laughs> 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 well, today's episode, East does a micro grind No! <laughs> it was a it was a suggestion of ignorance, not malice. <laughs> All right, you guys mount up. <laughs> Sheets of rain buffet you as you kind of eventually find your ways back to the road. Um, surprisingly easy, it's just opposite the river. And as you guys continue on, kind of clutching close your cloaks and your, your jackets and clothes as you're buffeted by the rain, uh, eventually you do see, cusping over the horizon, the large keep of Fort Divinity breaching over the horizon up ahead. I'm sorry. <clears throat> just keep going then yeah let's get, right. get to the fort as you guys make your way to the fort you kind of are stopped by two guards let me grab my fort divinity book here or not book but page i gotta find my notes from like episode what was that 12 <laughs> yeah <laughs> 11 where are they there they are <laughs> Let's see, where is he? Uh, you see one familiar form, uh, and you see a different form. Uh, very tall, incredibly tall, and very bulky, I would say, in armor. Uh, approaching closely, just cussing out the rain, you see a dwarven individual who you recognize. <laughs> Oh, um, that... It's not the uncle, is it? Yeah, it is. I just can't remember the name because I don't have my notes. So I'm um, trying to sorry. find it. I, I think I should have it, but I haven't opened these notes in, like, fucking ten episodes. I know that guy just lost his notes. Grumblemaker. Is what was right? it? Fazdan Faz Grumblemaker, yeah. Yeah! Yep. Uh, and flanking him is a individual who stands about probably, like, cusping seven feet um like built like a brick house you can't see their like through their armor but they're wearing a lot of armor and they walk like like just like you know what i mean mm -hmm. the dwarf kind of like takes off his helmet and like or like kind of lifts up his helmet and wipes his brow his beard is just drenched and he goes well grometh be blessed you came back huh we did. We also dropped off that uh, that pendant to uh, Miss Ailsa. Come inside, where it's not so bloody wet. Oh, oh, all right, fair enough. I is that a just... problem? Yes, uh, yes, 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 it is. But I promise you, he is friendly, and we have to speak on his behalf. I love you. He loves. <laughs> he loves. He loves you. <laughs> <laughs> With all sorts. You keep an eye on things, and the giant, like, just armor turns towards the, the, the dwarf and goes, Uh, where is my can? One second. What was the, what was the name? Law Sorts. <clears throat> Literally Law and Sorts squished together. This man's a Dark Souls enemy. You can't tell me otherwise. You uh, hear a voice come through and go, Of course, I'll keep an eye out. Mortorius, is that you? Monty, mm -hmm. how much like hands does this guy sound? 
very similar to hands. Mm. Oh. I'll raise my reptilian eyebrow, but we'll go inside. <laughs> you know draws that eyebrow that all reptiles have. Yeah, draws one with a pen. <laughs> does, does he have an also, emblem on his armor at all? Uh, he does. Uh, go ahead and roll a religion check if you wish. Oh, yes, please. I'm trained in that. This might also, be a hard one. No! Map, but... I don't know. I'm dumb. Move the what? Move the map. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I rolled in that one, Monty. I'm dumb and tired. <laughs> You're not dumb. R and Jesus just hates you. You are tired, though. You yeah. are tired. Yeah, can't um, <clears throat> Milo's, you don't recognize the symbol. Okay. That's that, Definitely, then. I... <laughs> it's probably an obscure god of some kind, you assume. Something one There's of a few. heard of One of those before. pagan gods. I like <laughs> like Illinae or some smaller <laughs> god like that. Wow. You want me to paint I... the bullseye on you, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Sorry. guys. Make your way inside. Let me find something here. There we go, that works. It is significantly warmer inside. There is a fire going in the fireplace, the tables are out, and there are people laughing inside. Uh, and you see that similar individual who you met before. I'm going to show the art again because why not? It's Yay. been six months, to be it fair. It has been quite a while. Uh, you there see he is. Currently playing cards with uh, some other individuals. Uh, you see a triton, uh, an electric blue triton almost. Very similar in shade of color to you, Iskan. Currently kind of gurgling under his breath as he hands money over towards... Uh, Marco Ross, and uh, as you get inside, it is at this point you realize just how drenched you are. Like, you guys are leaving puddles behind, and the dwarf, uh, poor, poor Thazdan, grabs his beard and rings it, and it's just like, psh, like a water balloon was dropped <laughs> on the floor. Gaius, not wanting to be outdone, shakes himself off. You do. do and the like, thing. <laughs> yep. Splatters across everything. Uh, Marco kind of gives you guys a wave as Thazden kind of turns and goes, All right, now that we're in better sorts, how's my niece doing? She's actually doing better than good. We were able to take care of the matter of her husband, and justice was served, and... Oh, I just wish you could have been there to see it. Well, I wish you could have married a better man. That man will die if a swift breeze kicks him up into the air. Well, he did survive prison for a crime he didn't commit, so... Well, there you go. I don't get what she sees in him. <clears throat> the man's a beanpole. Anyway. He's I mean, gonna turn sideways and disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, to be fair, there are all sorts. Just like, just like all of the gods and goddesses are all different sizes and shapes, but we all come together and we all find peace. Yeah, but she should have married, like, a dwarf with a beard. Square. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of peace, I, uh, I dismount a Scrib and I put him on the floor. Hello! I love you. <laughs> Marco kind of cocks his head in confusion and goes, Well, okay, this day just got a whole lot more interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, Marco, can you come over here for a moment? We need to talk to you. Yeah. <sighs> He kind of stands up and he looks towards the Triton and goes, Ah, well, Sparky. Shame there, the money's got to go, but uh, gambling's a loser's game. He kind of stands up and he walks over towards you all and goes, Nice to see you all again. And Is one his piece. name actually Sparky or was that a nickname? You don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> you got to call him Sparky now. I uh, see you. <clears throat> Sparky the Triton. So are you uh, handing in a bounty or he kind of looks down at the oh, wet no, goblin? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We actually have come to tell you of an accord we made with the goblins on the bridge south of here. I I am here to represent John. That's the name of the bridge. What? That's a person's name. Yeah, sh sh just go with it. Oh, okay, okay. G good. I love John so much. They've actually agreed to uh, caretake the bridge, uh, keep it safe, uh, keep it maintained. But they do ask for tolls for expenses. Right. Are you talking about the bridge past Applebottom Fields? Oh, uh, that's oh, right. 
Oh, I, we have something else to tell you about that as well. I see. People Let me Apple grab... Fields. Oh. Hmm? What were you repeat saying? That repeat that No, repeat that Otho. Uh, the people of Applebottom Fields have apparently been associating with one ogre wife, Big Bad Bazazog. Oh, well, that's fun. That would explain some things. Hmm. Great. Paperwork. One second, I will be right back. I imagine you guys sit down with Marco at the table. He gives you actually ale. Like, they actually give you alcohol to drink because wow. you're so wet. Oh, um, hell yes. They warm you up by the fire. <laughs> As and, we all uh, know, getting drunk is the best way to stay dry. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking ate Betty's can. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you guys sit down and kind of like, I assume you tell, just to save, you know, time, mm -hmm. yeah. you tell yeah. every, you tell Marco about your goblin endeavors, and he blinks several times and goes, okay, <laughs> kind of writes it down as a note. Kind of not so much doubting you, but being like, I'll believe it when I see it, but he does note it down. Oh, um, we should tell him about Okeg. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, yeah. And Eleanor. And Eleanor, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I'll turn over just the portrait of Eleanor. I'm not going to divulge <laughs> the landscape photo. Mm -hmm. Just in case. I don't want them, like, charging them or something. Marco kind of looks down and he, he he's, <coughs> he's like, Goblins who want to run businesses and ogres that trade. I mean, I'm not a Marlo native myself, but uh, from what I've heard, that's pretty ridiculous. It is. But... I mean, well, people can change. That is very <clears throat> true. Um, I'll note it down. As for this child's drawing, um, <laughs> I don't recognize it. I don't know who this is. Well, we were told it was Ogre Wife Eleanor. Uh, it kind of looks like a human to me. Maybe he kind of he like he like looks at the picture and like brings it forward and narrows his eyes and looks back and goes. I'm surprised you can make heads and tails of this. It's like the and like, meme. <laughs> sorry, and Scribe sorry. is like, yeah, because it's so god, just ugly, terrible. He kind of goes, I guess it does sort of look like him. It doesn't look like an ogre, I think. That was more what I was getting at. You said this is where? The southwest? Yes. South, hmm. Yeah, southwest. West. Well, west. I'm, a, yeah. I'm afraid west. that's... I'm afraid that's definitely outside of our jurisdiction. I mean, our purpose here is to defend, well, essentially keep the undead out of Martorala from Eastonvale, so... Would there um, be some way you could send some kind of message to some of the other, lo some of the other towns and other locations? I could. Mm -hmm. I, I could send a missive, but I don't know how much, you know, I, what I, that's going to get us. I, I grab, uh, I grab Scribb's, like, wrist, and I hold it up, and I point at him. Well, it, also, it's worth noting that it sounds like there's more than one uh, ogre going around trying to do trade. So I don't know if you'll see them up your way, but maybe some of the other cities might see them as well. The one we hmm. met was just south of Quincunx. That's quite a far distance from here. I uh, you could use if you need a missive. Why not have a missive that could probably blend in easier with the ogres? I like that we helped this guy set up a business, and now you're you're submitting him for an espionage mission. I want you to understand something, because Gaius has never said to, uh, evidence to the contrary. He is a cell sword. I know. It's just it's all happening so fast. I will make these goblin children into cell swords. Mark my goddamn <laughs> words. <laughs> Marco kind of like runs his hand through the back of his hair and kind of goes. With all due respect, most people's consideration of goblins is poor. And the scribe goes, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> they will probably kill him on sight. And I'm not talking about the ogres. I'm talking about any other human being. But if he's at the bridge, I mean, it's no surprise. We don't get much people up here considering the state of things to the north. Um, I mean, I can see if I can get the toll bridge sanctions. I mean, the toll would have to be 
pretty minuscule. No one's using that bridge right now, but it is possible to do. Apple Bottom Fields is a bit of a problem because it is very much outside of the catch of Martorallo at all. Mm -hmm. The further from Martorallo proper you get, the less influence that the Ocean Lords have. Well, but what about you guys? Our job is to defend the border from undead. That is why we are here, and that is our purpose. Now, I'm not saying I can't help you out. I will definitely send a report. The information is valuable, but I cannot promise a solution. As well, for the goblins, I if you trust them, and because you've done a favor for Grumpy over here, it's Grumblemaker, whatever, that you've done <laughs> us a favor, you know, I, I feel like I can trust your judgment, also considering the... Um, purpose of your being here yeah we do kind of have it on good authority too uh, kind of looking around at the room that uh you know uh roads uh down south here will probably pick up in speed pretty soon hopefully hmm. wink <laughs> okay well like I said, I'll see what I can do. I'm not an official member of the Land Guard. I'm a third-party mercenary. But they do like us. We have got a pretty good success rate, so hopefully they'll listen. As for the goblins, I'll vouch for them. We may check on them every now and again to ensure that things are running um, up to code. He kind of cocks his Probably head at that. Best. Mm -hmm. they may Make sure that they're on track. As it they, were. they may periodically need supplied maybe some wood, maybe some stone, uh, simple weapons, something. They can pay I for supplies as they need it. I will say it would be very difficult to find anyone who would be willing to fund a goblin toll bridge. But I'm not going to completely dismiss the idea. Well, that's good news, I think. Stranger yeah. things have happened. He watches his eyes kind of wander, and he sees Rebby. He goes, hey. And then Rebby's like, hey. I see huh? you caught up with another native of Easton Vale. I was about to say, is that insight worthy? <laughs> you two Not know really. each other? Yeah. Rebby kind of like, Rebby at this point actually seems much happier, and you realize it's because he can smoke his pipe now. It's not raining. Uh, oh. <laughs> Which explains why he was probably pissed at you. Scan when you said, Why don't you just turn into something <laughs> else? And that that was the problem. You just want the smoke, yeah. Uh, Murko kind of turns and goes, I'm acquainted with Rebu. He came through here quite a while ago, similar to you. Mm. That's interesting. Saying out of trouble, and Rebu kind of goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting wet though. <sighs> Well, I digress. I, again, will be trying to do the best I can. Um, you should stay here for the night until this rain ends, for your sake. Though I imagine once you breach through Easton Vale, the weather there is uh, fairly consistent. It's very dry. <laughs> yes, bone dry. Anyway. Uh -huh. We'll get some room situated for you. I hope you don't mind bunking. Um, <clears throat> as for the goblin... We'll have him take one of ours to the toll bridge and have it assessed, and we'll go from there. Uh, I might recommend, uh, if you'd be willing to lend your trust a little bit further, uh, Scrub here just guided us through the woods uh, to the west of Apple Bottom Fields, uh, just in case, for whatever reason, you want to avoid the town with a goblin. I don't see a reason to avoid the town. All right. But thank you. We appreciate it. <clears throat> Plus, you are all covered in brambles, and I know that is not from the storm, so I'd rather pass. He smiles. That was <laughs> fun. <laughs> I'll get runes for you, and drinks, and meals. Thank you. Nah, don't mention it. It's nice to have visitors. Rare that they are. And he situates you up, you guys, with rooms, and that's where we're going to take our break. Yay. Hell yeah! Yay! Potty time! You're right back. Woo! Ah, uh, welcome to the halftime show, folks. This session has been ridiculous. 
This has been clown this shoes. This has been the insanity. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm like, what is happening with these goblins? How do we go from we kill them to, well, now they're business moguls. Because this is more fun. Let's be real. Like, just yeah, we this could just kill more... them. We could this just kill so... them. I'm. I, this is great. I'm thoroughly entertained. And I hope all of you are thoroughly entertained. Okazar, thank you for the 500 bits, sir. It appears the goblin bandits have unionized. Oh, no, not unions. Uh, pseudonym, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, whoop. First Ed Bosco halftime show of the, of the year. Let's go. That is true. We out here. 2023 Bosco halftime show. Yeah, boy. Uh, Dice Ruler, thank you for the two bits. Bosco, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Hope your new year's going well. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. I wanted to go on the record as a smoker. If Rebu can't smoke in the rain, he's a weakling. <laughs> <laughs> he would do terrible on film noir stuff. He's using Crip a scratch, pipe thank you so in much the, for the sheet of rain. Of course he can't. Jesus. There's, All right. there's covers Whoa. for pipes. Whoa, yeah, absolutely covers for pipes. He's just a pleb. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Monty. <laughs> Crit scratch, thank you for the bits. Episode title, Water Under the Bridge. That's not bad, actually. Hell yeah. That's actually really good. Old Beast, same thing for the 100 bits. I got Foster's reference, Zito. Fuck yeah. There you go. The Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for the five tier one subs gifted to the community. Uh, Mike in with 100 bits. Question Bosco and company. What are your thoughts on one D&D and possible microtransactions in D&D coming? So I will, I will answer this because it's going to be the same no matter who of us you ask. It's not out. Nothing is official. We don't really know anything. So we could talk about that when one D&D is an actual thing. There but... is one thing I can say. Okay, go for it. Sorry, if that, that was your the, the takeaway. No, was I was like, I was trying to help everybody dodge it because it's not official yet. But go for it. Well, it's a well. I the only thing I'm just happy about is that they actually fucking backpedaled and made it a, a announcement saying like, no, trust us, OGL is not getting changed because they fucking they discovered that like, oh, if we change OGL, that means that all the people that were writing homebrew for our system are just gonna fucking leave, and that's money gone. So they immediately backpedaled and went, no, 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 OGL's fine, OGL's fine, ha, 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 fuck, oh, shit. <laughs> I would say let's wait and see what happens, and then we can talk about it when we know the facts. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Dang Master, thank you for the 200 bits. I humbly plead that the goblins shall be having a hat-based hierarchy. Give grand hats to those in power. Here's a reference for you. All of them can now join the stupid hat club. We'll see yeah. who gets that one. Tiki the Troll, thank you for the tier one sub. I suddenly can't help but try to imagine Kai's expression at watching Goblin Business and Martial Arts School in action. Uh, Protoss, thank you for the five bits. Hoping the goblins are not dead the time you go by there. Zen Lita, thank you for the hundred bits. Meanwhile, Otho is off to the side grumbling about the goblins getting handouts instead of pulling themselves up by their bootstraps. Uh, your uh, one's, uh, 100 bits episode. Oh, Jaws of North. My brain can catch up to my lips. Uh, White Fang, thank you for the 100 bits. It's my birthday today, and we get Goblin Business. What a wonderful birthday. The Drifter of Time and Space with 200 more bits. I remember Cheese and Fred Fredburger. That's my jam. Remember, Zito. Good taste. Yeah, now if I can only just get people to fucking recognize Flapjack. Uh, we've got Ace Bounty with 245 bits. No message, just bits. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Message for Zito. My party was pulling a heist last session that ended up with us fighting a crime lord. The image that my DM randomly used for him was of Harris Pibbs from TFS at the table. I was so happy, shame I had to kill him and steal his shadow. Damn, son. You got your baited. It'd be like that sometimes. Damn, I can't Goss, believe thank you for this. the bits. <laughs> Caius, no, here is the beating from my ancestors. The three axe beating. Damn. Uh, Mike, thank you for the 100 bits. You kids want to see Dracula dance? Mm. Burnout, Dracula. thank you for the 100 bits. Zito, no one can forget Candy Wife. Did you hear that, Candy Wife? Oh, dear. The Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for some more bits. I remember Flapjack, still good taste. Killer Chansey, 10 bits. Episode title, For Whom the Gob Tolls. That's also, I like that a lot because I like Metallica. Hell yeah. That, that's pretty good, too. Also, uh, I'm just going to quickly say... Yeah, you best like Flapjack because all the people who like TFS at the table, you unironically like Flapjack because 70% of my jokes came from that. Hell yeah. what I miss? I got to write these down. Hang on. Come back. Warner. Warner. 
What happened? You all love Grammy so much. That's literally the <laughs> fucking... That's the trolley hag. You can't just call someone a hag, Zito. Uh, we got Killer Chance. Thank you for the 10 bits. We got Jake with 45 bits. Better knuckle down and get used to it, Zito. And it's spelled knuckle. Yes! You know yes! Right, well, Twisty the Kitty, thank you for the tier one sub. Uh, Shin, thank you for the 100 bits. Hi, Bosco. Hi, Zito. Hi, Monty. Hi, Connor. Hi, Mark. Hi, Gaijin. Hope everyone had a good new year. Lovely Lorelai with 150 bits. How are a hippopotamus rolling a nat 20 and a politician alike? They are both hippocrits. Minus two. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. Wist. 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 Everyone's pulling out the flapjack references. Fuck yeah. The Drifter of Time and Space. Thank you for some more bits. Last of my bits. Love the shorts you make on YouTube. So many moments from this episode. Yeah, probably. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the 100 bits. I love Peter Jackson. He made Bad Taste, Meet the Feebles, and also The Lord of the Rings. I've heard of one of those. Uh, Mike, thank you for the 100 bits. Also, while we are talking about old school Cartoon Network and the earlier convo on clowns, remember clowns are scared of oranges? What? Tangelos, get it right. Tangelos. Tangelos. Which was my R&B name in the 90s. <laughs> uh, no, it was not. No, yeah, it was not. Angelo. No, it was yeah. not. Uh, I was, no. Veil of Darkness, thank you for the 500 bits. Very much entertained. Hopefully we see how Otho and Kai are dealing with the whole goblin interaction. Uh, we got Killer Chansey with the 10 bits. But Zito, <clears throat> the most annoying character on Foster's was Blue. At least Cheese just wanted milk chocolate. Yeah, and Blue is also voiced by the guy who does Reaper in Overwatch. I love that. That's really funny. Shin with 100 bits, destroy us all. Uh, destroy us no! all! Destroy us all! <laughs> Travis A. Carey, thank you for the 200 bits. <laughs> so would the city of Mortarlo be the same as Alavast, both being the main hub city for our heroes? Is, would that be Eastonvale? Uh... We don't really have a home base. Nope. Mm -hmm. We're a traveling we band. Of we are homes? nomads. Vagabonds, if you will. Uh, Callum Draws. Thank you for the 25 bits. The goblins went from Roblins to Joblins. Hell yeah. Okay, that gets a plus two. Uh, don't, don't encourage the coyote. Uh, Magic Ninja Go with 100 bits. Oh boy, my group is starting to try out some of the one D&D stuff, and our campaign is on their way to hunt a possible white dragon. That's okay. That's the weakest of the dragons. Yeah, you'll be fine. They have, like, no intelligence. You'll be no, okay. No, he's not. The White Ranger was the best. <laughs> white dragon, not White Ranger. That's what I said, White Ranger. He was a tiger, not a dragon. Rangers. On. He was. He was fan. a white tiger. Yes. He's Otho. That's yeah, he was green. absolutely Otho. No, that was green. <clears throat> the Green Ranger you. and the White Ranger were the same person. You know what? I'm done. They were thank you. Thank they you. Were. Fucking can't. thank you. <laughs> they were. They were both Tommy orange. Oliver. Tommy, oh, been like they were four. both Tommy Oliver. Uh, he was also the Red Ranger and the Black Otho, Ranger. I wonder if there's a reason that Otho is a, a white tiger shifter that wears green. I wonder if there's a reason behind yeah. it. Yeah. Hmm. No, Who, what, what could the influence possibly be? We'll never know. Mm, yellow I Ranger is white best Ranger. Ranger type. Which Yellow Ranger? Oh god, the original '90s one. I watched that one as a kid. Trini. There the was Trini? actually there were two in the '90s. Were yeah, there, there was oh, Trini. Because they swapped out three. Yeah. They mm -hmm. they swapped out three people. That's Shout when out. Johnny Young Bosch became the Black Ranger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to I'm my boy frog. Goldar. And yep. I'm a frog. <laughs> what was the second was Yellow Ranger's line. name? He was just like, I'm a frog. It wasn't Cassie. That was a Pink Ranger. What was her name? Who? Oh, this is gonna bug me. The second the Yellow actress Ranger. The actress or the the character? The character's name. Taisha, thank Aisha. you, chat. Yes. Thank you, Tommy Two Eighty. There you go. Or is that Taisha? Uh, or Aisha? Aisha? Yeah. Taisha. Aisha. I, I thought that was. It's yeah. Aisha. Okay. Right she's, All right, she's is everybody really back? Also, Moe, yeah. Rest yeah. in peace. Arrested power. Jason David Frank speaking to the Green and White Ranger. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 All righty. You guys ready to get back into the unexpectable? Uh, Bye again, uh, chat. What, what was our I last? What so. was the last bit stuff? Because I'll hold on to that. Uh, I think Bubba Bob was up next. Bub, bub, bub. <sighs> <No chance anymore. clears throat> All right, we good to keep going. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, bye, chat.
<laughs> no watches are necessary as you guys have spent the night in a warm keep. Um, you actually see a lot of the people who uh, kind of trade off shifts in Fort Divinity. Does anybody have a soldier or city guard background? Mm -mm. Nope. No. Okay. I ain't task. <laughs> Aw. It's okay. Just figured I'd ask just in case I would give you a little bit of extra information. Um, there are... You are able to assess there's like 13 people stationed here. <sighs> uh, and all of them are armed to the teeth. Like, they all seem like incredibly capable people. There's no, like, foot soldiers. It's all, like, clerics. Neat. Um, you see... <laughs> Again, the dwarf, uh, of course, Marcus. Marcus seems to be the, um, or Marco, rather, not Marcus. Marco. Marcus is my friend. Polo. Marco. Polo. Polo, thank you. Uh, Marco seems to be the, the go-to, like, paperwork guy, which kind of is, you, can, you get the sense that there's no real leader here, but Marco mm. is kind of the default face because he's the one who does the paperwork. At one point in the night when you guys are getting ready to sleep, he's like, hey, does anyone want to fill out this? And they, everyone goes, no. And he's like, all right, I'll just keep doing it again. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it seems to be his his go-to thing. Uh, they seem to like to play cards a lot here um, and sharpening their weapons and telling stories. Um, Silaran actually shows up, Milo, briefly and, and gives mm. you a very quick hello. Um, Likewise. And yeah, I would say, I'd say it's a group check. Everybody roll a religion check here. Oh, God. Minus one to religion, seven. I am trained. Four. God here damn. I go. I, am I rolled dumb. a soft 20. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Um, Font of religion night. Yeah, Milo, you're, you're too... You and Silurin has spent the night together going over like stories and things like that and mm -hmm. their sort of ventures and whatnot. Um, so you're a little distracted. Eskan, mm -hmm. you're very tentative and, and so are you, Kai, as well. Um, you're able to determine that, um, yeah, there are definitely some very um, obscure gods here um, being worshipped. And like for a longest time, you're like, you don't know what Marco's, like he doesn't look like a cleric at all. And it kind of like starts to like kind of like what 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 god? Because you realize each of them seem to worship like neutral and good gods. Um, the very large and boxy uh, individual of law sorts, um, Iskan, you recognize bearing the symbol of Oriara, the god of crafting and like clockwork, which you know through trade as like a newer god. Uh there is also, uh, yeah, there's there's gods to everything. You're like, oh, God, that's a Ginter worshiper right there. You can tell by the sort of oxen motif that they have on their armor, Ginter being the god of agriculture and farming. I uh, even see at one point the individual, a uh, <laughs> a minotaur, actually, the one who Nanu? met you first. Yeah, Nanu. Yeah. Uh, you notice that she's got like a little garden going on, and she seems to be very absorbed in that whenever she seems to be not working. Uh, and after a while, I'd say Iskan, you'd get this with a 20, which is what you would need. You realize what Marco's, um, one in this is probably the most obscure one. And you're actually surprised that it's here. Marco is a Telentura worshiper, which is the god of dumb luck and gambling. Huh. He doesn't wear a visible symbol, which is pretty common with them. Um, they don't have temples either. And you are it's the absence of things that makes you realize that, oh, he worships Telentura. Because Telentura, as you would know, and Kai would know this as well, Telentura is a very weird god because it's kind of like a happenstance god, less of like one you worship and more that just you kind of appreciate, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm-hmm um and you're like oh okay <laughs> that explains a lot between the it card explains games the cards and how he knows rebu <laughs> mm -hmm. yep <laughs> those two know each other <laughs> and you realize in a direction like how's it going it's going pretty good you get the sense that they probably have played each other and you're not sure what happened but it must have been there's a good story there. yeah yeah but as you guys wake up in the morning, resupply, I need another weather roll. This one's not as important as you are right on the border of Easton Vale, but for the funsies. 
What did you say uh, Nanu was a cleric of? Ginter, Ginter, which is the god of agriculture and farming, essentially, is the best way to put it. I will roll. Okay. Yahoo. 6, 12, 11. 6, 12, 11. It is a slightly windy day, and there is a gentle rain outside. Almost like a final farewell from the weather here. Uh... We spit on you as you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Precipitation says goodbye, asshole. Sorry, why did the why really did the rain dumb. turn into a mobster? <laughs> Cut my rain into pieces. This is my plastic fork. Precipitation. No <laughs> breathing. All right, and you guys, uh, as you guys kind of head out, Reb, uh, Rebu is actually waiting for you, and he kind of looks at you and goes, "Well, if it's all the same to you, maybe this is a good place for me to stick around for a while." Well, Noor is there. Yeah, thanks for getting us this far. Yeah, I'll tell I the dead it. lady that uh, I pay my debts. Do you want us to, like, take anything to her, or...? Do you want to say that to her? Do you want her to relay anything back to you? He ta uh, Gaius taps his ear. Oh, right, yeah, keep that. Nah... Our relationship is, uh, complicated? Fair enough. Are you uh, gonna... Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was gonna change the subject, so if you were gonna say something No, no, else. you go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what do you want to do about the Axe Beaks? I keep them with me. Here? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you if you don't mind other people riding them, I can definitely have them work here for a bit. Make a little bit extra coin. And uh, if you need me anywhere, you know how to get in contact with me. He kind of taps the sending stone. Yeah. Seriously. Give me a town name and I'll try and get there as fast as I can. That's, that's We're fine. likely to be quite far <clears throat> away next time. Eh, who knows? I know some shortcuts through. The woods. He's the base goes a little deadpan. <laughs> we all appreciate that greatly, yeah, Redu. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for traveling for me. I won't lie. You guys have an air of uh, lucrative opportunity about you. God, I hope so. <laughs> That's the whole reason I left on my little quest to begin with. Yeah, well, sorry you got waylaid by dying. Are you kidding? Uh, Business is booming. <laughs> Just yeah, tell us a favor and uh, don't lose that pipe of yours. I'll try my best. I haven't lost it yet. And uh, yeah, make sure to remember it. Hmm? How could we forget? <laughs> it has been fun. And uh, don't die because, well, the birds would miss you. And uh, like I said, tell the dead lady that I'm paying my debts. Will do. Gonna go hug Don Beak one more time. He's like a little squeaky toy noise comes out of him. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought we were, I thought we were gonna say you were gonna hug Rebu's kneecaps. <laughs> I, mean, I thought that was gonna happen too. I mean, does he want one? Oh, you don't know, screw it. I will go hug him too. All <laughs> right. Okay. I know you're. Gosh, halfling, so emotional. He kind of pats you on the head a couple times. Well, what okay. is life? What is life without that? I don't know. Probably pretty boring. I, well, pat, him. I pat him on the back, you know, ah. the, the Gaius way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I got a ride later, Gaius. Jeez. He kind of cracks it back at the place. Ah. Iskun's going to gently pat Hideon on the neck. They kind of like tap you a couple times with that little axe beak bit. Uh, thanks for the ride, and I'll I'll give them a little piece of ration. I, is uh is our goblin friend still there? Yep, he's currently talking with a kobold. Oh, oh neat. Uh, I'm gonna for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna offer Pazuzu to him. Oh really? 
Yes. Holy crap. Are you are you sure? Because Rebu can bring your axe beaks to you in the future, so you uh, might not okay. want to. That, yeah. That, okay. 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 I was of the assumption that we were never seeing these things again. No. 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 Rebu's holding on to them for you. Oh. Okay. Sick. Yeah. The, fuck and that. above <laughs> board, above board, he has your birds, and you have his sending stones. So if you ever want to call for him, he will try and beeline it to you immediately oh, to meet up with you. Him. Bro, yeah, we that's got what our, he was we, saying. We got our fucking mm -hmm. overworld key whistle. Let's go. We, yeah. we, we, we got fast travel. Yes. We can now summon the uh, the taxi service. Well, oh, he yeah. still has to try and make his way to you. Like, that's the downside, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Never mind. But he can move faster than we can. <laughs> he can, yes. He can move very fast, so. Okay. All right. Sweet. Rebu kind of gives a bit about and goes, well, I'm gonna go get my ass beat at cards, cause you gotta lose sometimes, I guess. And uh, yeah, if you need me for anything, just give me a call. And uh, he kind of looks towards you, Otho. Try and keep it reasonable. Not sure what you're referring to. <laughs> All right. Well, you lot have been fun. I better see you again. And uh, travel safe. Be careful. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Kai is going to fist bump LJ's beak. Oh my god, he punched the bird! Take him out! <laughs> <laughs> he watches Rebu kind of leads all of them over towards a stable, and they kind of are led inside, and as you guys make your way through the Fort of Divinity... Walker you... kills a man on the uh, way to yeah. the stable. <laughs> <laughs> You actually watch oh. as Lost Sword is there and Walker is just <laughs> against the armor. <laughs> <laughs> and Lost Sword, Lost Sword, Lost Sword turns towards Rebu and goes, It's kissing me. <laughs> I'm a change, old boy. <laughs> <laughs> they leave Pazuzu in and like there's a squeeze sound effect as they kind of pull him through. Oh. But yeah, you guys are left on the road in the rain with the right. giant wall of fog before you. Oh, that's still there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought that dissipated. Oh, Anyone no. uh, want to say any words before we leave Martorello for proper? Kind of looking at Kai and Otho. I'm happy I didn't kill goblins. Otho will look over his shoulder and he'll just scan the horizon of, of Martorello countryside. This is my home. Why does it feel like the place we're about to walk into is somehow less diseased? I wish you I could feeling... stay. Oh, go ahead. I wish I could stay. But we've got a duty to fulfill. Well, if it all goes right, you'll be back. Right? Hopefully. Side eyes Kai to see if he's doing anything. Uh, he's just going to look over his shoulder, but once Otho is done, he's going to walk away. All right. Well, unless anyone else has anything they want to do or say, I guess we should uh, link up and pass through, right? Koi, do you still have it? Kai's going to nod. All right, take my hand. He's going to offer his hand to, to hold. Little Milo is going to lead the charge into the fog and wants to make sure that you are right there with him. Kai's going to clutch his backpack and then take your hand. Like, it's it's not, like, wary or anything. He's just like, all right, you're with me, bud. <laughs> we also, like, we've passed through, and every time we've passed through, we've all held hands to, like, make sure we don't lose each other. Yeah, like, I, I'm so. starting I'm starting the links. Yeah, right yeah, here, yeah. So. 
Do we want to figure out the order here? What's the order? Well, it's we've got be... Milo and then Kai. Mm -hmm. Milo and Kai. Does anybody really want to be third? Otho. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to give that opportunity. Would guys want to be in the back or it, uh, uh, what do you want to do? I'm, I'm up for whatever. Uh, East King, you can go after Otho if you don't mind being so, in the back. Cool. I'll be back then. Cool. Okay. So we have East Ken and then Gaius. Alrighty, as you guys stride forward. It takes a while to get to the giant wall, so you don't hold hands, I think, immediately. Nope, the whole way. The whole way? <laughs> Two hours buddy, of hand-holding. Buddy, buddy system the whole way. <laughs> Do you have your exit buddy? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> be sure to be close to your exit buddy. Remember to rip, roar, and punch it. <laughs> He's, like, speaking some other language to me. I don't understand him. <laughs> Alrighty, as you guys walk up to the large fog wall ahead of you that encompasses and encloses and imprisons Eason Vale, you all see now these sort of ghastly, ghostly hands almost reaching out towards you in an embracing kind of way as you walk forward. Milo, you take the first step in. Mm-hmm. Light cast upon my shield and shield is in front. All right. <clears throat> Milo, as you step inside, immediately your light is swallowed by the fog. Only slightly visible just ahead of you as you make your way in. Kai, you follow and are swallowed by the fog as well. Otho, you enter trepidatiously, but are swallowed by the fog. And Iskan, you are also swallowed by the fog. And Gaius, you follow. The whispers begin, quietly coaxing you, asking you, pleading you, wanting you. Kai, I need a wisdom saving throw, please. I can't guidance that, can I? Nope. Oh. 16. Okay. Kai, as you're swallowed up by the fog, you feel yourself being pulled away from your companions. Like as if something's trying to grab and pull you away from them. <clears throat> Can I resist it? You do so. You kind of resist it, and you find you can you get feeling back in your fingers, and you can feel feel Milo's hand and your brother's hand in the other, as you guys continue forward. But there's almost like a presence in your mind. You just can I try to reach out to it? Can I try to reach out to it mentally without leaving physically? Yeah, you can attempt to. He's gonna. Try, I don't know how he would do that, but he's gonna attempt to. You poor thing. It's so unfair. Isn't can it? I you can attempt to respond you... if you wish. Who are you? I am the Great Defier. Whose green greed has spilled over her cup for eons. And I am your answer to all of your woes. I am did yours you and you are mine. You no, wait, did, did you make the orb? <sighs> you feel hostility. The orb was your creation. Something that can shift between us. It was never mine. And it was never his. Who is he? The one I defy. 
Does he have a name? He has many names. But he cannot have a name. Only things have names. It's pretend. It always has been. But I have a name. I'm just like you. Or I was. Once upon a time. How do I talk to you in the future? I'll always be with you. Can you uh, answer something for me? Uh, sure. What is more unfair? Life or death? And as you kind of breathe, you all find yourselves on the other side of the fog wall. <sighs> oh, we made it. <clears throat> Why does that feel harder every time? Uh, everyone all right? <clears throat> I am. Guys, pats so. Guys pats himself down. I feel in <sighs> one piece. Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Did anything uh, happen? You're the one carrying the orb. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, what? Guy's gonna take out the... Oh, we're away from the wall, right? I imagine you guys take some paces away from the wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Steps. Monty, Monty. Can mm -hmm. you put us back in Easton Vale? Sure can. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! I hate it here. <laughs> we haven't been here since July. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm almost surprised the map isn't grayscale. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will say this, it is incredibly jarring from going to, even the rain was lively, to a place of such stagnancy. The mist that covered the ground is still gone, but there is no wind here, and it's a constant state of gray. There's no sounds of birds or the rustling of grass. It is just stagnant and dead. Go ahead, Bosco. Um, oh boy. Kai's going to take out the orb from his bag and show it to everybody. Is it reacting at all? Nope. It looks the same that it has been this entire time. Is he just free handing it at this point? Yes. <laughs> yes. Kai, uh, Kai maybe think... you shouldn't be holding it like that. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. I can, uh, no, it's okay. Um, so when we went through the fog, nobody heard anything, right? Other than creepy whispers? Aye. Right. Okay, I think I might have heard a very specific whisper. Because I had a full-on conversation in my brain. Wait, what? Who did you talk yeah. to, Kai? I think whoever did this to the bead. So... I mean, there's only one name that comes to mind, right? Yeah, I'm trying not to say it, because I don't know what that's going to do. Okay, fair point. Perhaps it's something we should bring up with Lynn. Actually, yeah, I'd really like to talk to Lynn. And maybe not, you know, mess around with the orb until we do. Or talk to it or anything like that. So that's, that's the other thing, is this might be able to give us some insight. That wasn't the first time I had a vision, or heard stuff. It's what not? Uh, I think it was Quincunx. It was a couple days ago. I haven't been sleeping very well, but one of my dreams was really vivid. Like, 
almost like it was playing out in real time. Have you ever had a dream like that where you felt like you were awake but you weren't, but you kind of knew it? Like a lucid dream? <clears throat> yeah, kind of. Except I didn't have any control over it. I was in like a very dark room with just four mirrors and there was like a shadow in every mirror and they were all just kind of watching me. Like there was one that uh, kind of looked like a small lizard thing and there was another one that looked like a really messed up raven and there were four of them and they, uh, what did one of them say? Uh, I think it was like, wake up little boy before you forget how to. But, but, but I, I think that might also have something to do with who made this or maybe who did all this to Easton Vale. Kai, you're playing a dangerous game. Well, but no, if, if they can talk to, like, what if it's like a spell thing? Like, what if they were trying to talk to me or, or keep me from figuring out what this is actually all about? That's all the more reason not to interact with it. If they did this, and he kind of gestures at all of the, the, the land around them, why would you want to talk to that person? May I interject then? While it is true this seems a little reckless, we have now just gained <sighs> some possibly valuable insight, so we can't dissuade this all the way. Does exactly, any place, thank you. Does any place in the world, or in folklore, or in, like, your stories, or your religion, any of us, does that place ring a bell to anyone? Uh, what? no. Can we do a think roll, uh, Monty? Sure, intelligence That's what I was to hoping everybody. to do. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing a think. No, I'm not. Brain. <laughs> I'm not thinking. Double 16. Brain. 12. <clears throat> Six. Five. I think, again, Milo, you you don't know. But, like, yeah. you've heard of, like, Azamar in particular having visions and dreams of things. And so, like, like you know that's possible. Right. But you don't know what that place is at all. Yeah. Like, the description of it much. does not. It sounds very, like... Something about it to you feels very intentional as an Azamar who knows right. about these sorts of things, and you're but you're not sure what it means at all. Koi, I've got no idea what that means, but I know there are ways of giving, giving and receiving visions, and yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I, it it might have been like an advanced or a different <clears throat> version of a spell. Like you could sometimes I've heard of people diving into other people's dreams. If they're this powerful or work for something this powerful, that would be nothing for them and they were trying to they were trying to get you to wake up well one of them specifically said i should wake up before i forget how to yeah that sounds like a warning to me yeah i i assume i assume kai tells us everything that happens correct. in this mission correct kai it, it sounds like i don't know i know i'm reaching at nothing here but that sounds like maybe they were cursed and they were trying to warn you not to follow their fate. Or I was onto a really big clue and they don't want me to find out what it is. Weren't I'm we specifically told be... not to mess around with this thing? Well, I'm not. They 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 reached out to me. I didn't do anything. Kai, you touched the orb. You're still I, touching well, it. Gentlemen, I don't believe that this is anything of ill will that Kai induced. The fact of the matter is that he had the dream. If you had the orb or I had the orb, it would probably have been the same thing. No, it, it matter... was Gaius, I had the orb, the first one. I never had any kind of vision like that. But I didn't touch it with my free hand. You did, Kai. He scans? Hmm? What's your passive perception? 21. 21. You get that weird sensation again. Ah! Like you're being watched. Uh, okay. You guys remember uh, a while back when I told you it felt like we were being watched? Right? Yeah, I'm feeling it right now. All right. Uh, Kai, let, let's put that up and get on a move. All right. I think oh, we we'll might have our room. answers either way. We need to get to her as fast as we can. I want to trail back and actually, like, grab Kai into a whisper conversation as we're going along. Okay. I'm down with this. I, as we walk, I like grab his shoulder. You claim that this is not of your own accord, that this message came to you? Yeah, it was, it was in a dream. It was when I was sleeping. <laughs> wow. 
while I am worried, like everyone else is, you seem to have a higher head on your shoulders when it comes to this. You're speaking clearly. You're, your thoughts are your own, and you're thinking things rationally. I'm... You... You are the academic type, and your, your, uh, your, I, I guess the best way to put it, your thirst for knowledge, uh, kind of proves that. Do you think something of dreamlike states is something you should look into academically? I mean, I should definitely try to figure out what this phenomenon was. If, if it was a spell, I should try to figure out what it is. Is that a, did you hear that? Everyone quiet. Now let's find a place to hide. Yeah. We're, we're in a forest, right? You duck in behind some trees in the forest. And you see, coasting overhead, a headless eagle. Mm. Remember these guys? <clears throat> and it lands in a tree nearby and kind of moves its head or where its head should be around and off in the distance you hear another in response oh god as another one lands on top uh anyone who wants to roll a perception check yes please <laughs> yeah sure why the fuck do not? i do i want to look upon these eldritch abominations Nyan. <laughs> 17 both ways 17. Okay. It's a nine. 12. Everybody, Three, kind of, you kind of nine. all pin yourselves up against trees or hide behind shrubs. Gaius, your curiosity just, you know, you can't help yourself. And you kind of peek and look up. And you see these giant eagles, sort of grayed out brown feathers. And almost like, get a little bit messed up. You know, like the neck of a bird? Imagine the head's just gone, right? And all those feathers are still there, almost like a lion's mane. Where the head should, the skull of the head probably should attach, instead you see in its place a undulating maggot. Mm. That kind of is like slightly pulsing where the head should be. Okay, we well, now, now, boys. Yeah, we have we have some we have something more than just undead to contend with. This is being puppeted. Uh, and, oh, go ahead. And, and as you all kind of pin yourselves and hide, almost as if they kind of flinch in reaction to something, they turn and look exactly where Kai is. And I need everyone to roll initiative, please. Oh, oh God. fuck! <laughs> No! 14. Okay, so really quick, Monty, 11. I know what I said. If we have to go a little late for this fight, I'm willing to go a little late for this fight. Okay. I gotta... It's a... <laughs> <laughs> Do it! 20 rain. Yeah! Yes! Yeah. I got a 16. That's actually really good for me. You know, I kind of wonder if Kai woke up with the just above game. If Kai woke up with the orb, if he's technically attuned to it. Oh no! I mean, he's had it for a really long time. Mm. He's oh, probably attuned to it. No! <laughs> well, Kai, <laughs> it's nice knowing you. <laughs> Shame about the eagles. Bye. <laughs> Monty is being dangerously quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta play some tokens here. Give me a second. Oh, God. You guys are a little Dang. split up because you guys hid, so. Alrighty. Give me a second. Here's the Hi, guys. <clears throat> Hi. I, uh... Eagles, huh? Uh, yeah, it's, uh... Them eagles. It must be, yeah. must be Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they're right in front... Right next... Fuck! <laughs> the eagle's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> 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 I 
<sighs> they are currently up in the trees. So oh, that's what up. that is. Okay. Yeah, that's what the wings are. The if they have wings, that means they're they're in the air technically. What's the skull for? The skull means they're fucking not normal they're eagles. They're unalive. <laughs> okay. They're no. unalive yeah. eagles. They're they're scrossed eagles. They're re dead These eagles, eagles. They are dead. Re eagles. Yeah. Also, I accidentally closed my tab that had my stats. You almost fucking second. just like made me think of a CS:GO weapon saying that. <laughs> the deagle. <laughs> yep. Which is just short for Desert Eagle, which is a real gun. I want to play Jabroni Brawl after this now, damn it. You're welcome. We <laughs> have Otho. <clears throat> scan. Uh, my will. Just making sure I'm not messing this up. Mm -hmm. And we have Gaius. And poor Kai at the end, the natural one. Though to be fair, that kind of fits thematically. Oh yeah. Wow. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how high up would you say they are, Monty? Uh, this one here, I'd say, is about twenty feet up. Okay. This one here is about, I'd say, probably thirty-five to forty feet up in the air. Christ alive. That's really, really high. I'm gonna do my best to not run myself up this tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So beginning of the turn order, Otho. It's almost like at the same time they kind of like twitch. Like you see the the wings tense and the feathers kind of frill out, and then suddenly the necks just swing and snap towards Kai's direction, and it doesn't take an insight check to know what they see. Uh, okay, so would I would I understand that I'm reasonably hidden at this moment? Uh, to your knowledge, you're hidden, yes. All right. In that case, <clears throat> I am going to Yes, I'll pull out one of my daggers, and I okay. will try to throw it at this eagle, worm eagle, weagle, the undeagle. <laughs> the undeagle. <laughs> Here I go. And it's with advantage because I'm hidden. You are hidden, yep. <laughs> Does a 13 hit? A 13 just hits. Wow. All They're right. big targets, to be fair. Uh, that'll be a grand total of 10 piercing damage. Not bad. You see this thing immediately snap its attention towards your brother, and bursting out from the trees, you fling out a dagger. It, it hits this creature in the <laughs> chest, and instead of blood coming out, you see something else white kind of oozing out of its body. Uh, and it takes 10 points of damage. Very nice hit. Um, let's see. Uh, what else can I do with my turn? Uh, peeing is a free action, I believe. Um, yeah, you know what? They're, they're looking at my brother. I don't like that. Uh, so I'm going to run up about 30 feet into the middle of the road, and I'm trying to, uh, distract them. Okay. <coughs> um. Yeah, that's, that's it. That, I'll, I'll, I'll just be in the middle of the road, and I'll distract them. Alrighty, Eastkin, it is now your turn. Uh, the one that's closest to us, we can see it's also, like, looking at Kai, right? Yeah, it seems to be leaning towards Kai. Uh, I'm gonna tap Gaius on the shoulder. And I'm gonna point at the, uh, the eagle closest to us and kind of just move my head in its direction so that I'm not making noise, but I'm kind of indicating, go get him. Yep. 
uh, and I'm going to hold my hand out in the direction of the eagle, and I'm going to cast Ice Knife. Okay, you got it. Uh, DC 14, if it hits, or if he passes, he takes no cold damage, but it'll be seven piercing damage and then potentially seven cold damage. He rolled a natural 20, so he All passes, right, so but he will still Seven piercing take damage. Seven piercing damage, not bad. You oh, wait, hold kind on. Of... I have to make a ranged spell attack and it didn't roll that. Oh. Yeah, Sorry, go ahead and roll that second. then. And then I'd ignore the damage here. Oh, well, the hit. Yeah, 20. <laughs> that's still, yeah, that, that, that's that, still that, what it hit. Yeah, yeah. That's still what hit. Yeah, so seven All piercing right. damage. Seven piercing damage. You thrust upwards with your palm and strike this thing kind of between the wing and the body, and there's a cracking noise. You swear that you broke the wing, but the wing kind of snaps back into place. But the ice shard is still like lodged in there, and as it bursts, it's kind of buffeted by the feathers and doesn't take full effect. And Gaius, as you're standing there, you see this sort of white something kind of slop out of the body, and you see wriggling around on the ground just a bunch of white, maggoty looking larval things. You're not sure what they are. Uh, gross. Ah, <laughs> 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 dangly parts. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> All right, Iskan, you have your bonus action movement. I can't bite this thing, and I'm staying here behind Gaius where it's safe. That's you my got turn. it. All righty, that brings That's... us to the eagle's turn. Eagle! I was really hoping you were going to start singing a song from the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I don't remember any of their lyrics. Streaking down from the sky and coming down like a bird of prey. Uh, this thing is going to attempt to grab you with its talons. Specifically, it's trying to scratch you, Kai, with its talons. Uh, that's going to be a soft 20 to hit you, Kai. That will hit. Okay. Uh, you take... Plus eight points of slashing damage. Oh, that's a... And you watch Milo and Kai in horror as the maggoty, like, head, I don't know what to call it, it doesn't look mm -hmm. like a head, but it's just like an undulating maggot, grows out from the bottom of it, like, almost like a wasp stinger. You oh. watch as this thing kind of elongates and then tries to strike towards you, Kai. You. Yeah. No. Uh, that is an eight. I believe that misses. That will miss. You manage to kind of wrench back into the tree as this thing stabs into the tree and just dispenses something. You're not sure what, and you watch as the tree kind of slightly shrivels in its bark where it was struck. Let's see. Hmm. Target, target that hit it. It's going to go for the target that hit it. It swoops up into the air. Kind of flies around and then comes down towards you, Iskan. Ah, you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? And it's going to go for a talent attack. It has no eyes, you fool! It misses. As it strikes out with its talons, you manage to kind of barrel roll out of the way. But it, just as like the other one, almost like a long serpent-like maggot end kind of comes to a rather jagged point and then goes to jab into you. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit. Oh, that hits. All right. Yeah. Need you to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh, hey. Yo. Natural hey. 20. Oh, we are blessed <gasps> on this 21 day. Uh, Thank you, you all you low points. rolls earlier. Oh. You take seven points of piercing damage as this, this dart-like wasp stinger strikes into your shoulder and you in a panic rip it out before you watch as like a very deep blue liquid is sprayed out of the stinger and splatters against the ground not being injected into you whatever it is <sighs> uh Gaius a little help that ends the eagle's turn Milo it is now your turn kill <laughs> yeah I know I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> um when it comes to ranged spell attacks, are those at disadvantage when I'm in melee? Yes. Okay. You are. Yeah, with disadvantage. Uh, 
You know what? Screw it. I'm going to be a little bit reckless. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my movement. Okay. Uh, call a high or low for me. Low, for I am okay. short. Roll a d100 <laughs> for me. Oh, God. 20. 20. 20. All right. <laughs> the hard cut. <laughs> Uh, that is going to be a 21, sorry, uh, to hit you with the talons, because you've got uh, to determine what weapon it used. However, I'm going to flashbang it, because okay, I can't do it. It is an attack, so it has disadvantage. Disadvantage? That is going to be an 18. That'll still hit. Sorry. Nah, that's fine. These things are scary. <laughs> Uh, you take seven points of slashing damage as you kind of are, as you kind of run past, it kind of kicks at you and kind of cuts you on the cheek and down the shoulder, but you manage to kind of scramble ahead. And then I'm going to blast the bejesus out of it with a guiding bolt. You got it. Fire! Uh, let's see here. Fireball! 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 <laughs> 18. 18 absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. It's wizard time! <laughs> 15 points of radiant. Holy crap! Oh my lord. Fireball. You hear shot and blast, and Kai, as you're standing in front of this eagle, you watch as just spraying, like, almost like Rice Krispies being thrown on top of you. Uh, 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 in these small little maggots as half of this bird's body is exploded out, and you even watch, Milo, as you kind of catch your breath. Like, mm -hmm. half of the body is blown up. And you watch as it kind of slowly stitches itself up, up back together. Nothing in this is flesh. It is all bug. It is all maggots that kind of coil wow. and bring themselves back <laughs> into like a form. That's bonkers. Just like, just like that pie grandma made us. It's all bugs. It is still alive, but it looks very rough. Money, quick question. You know what? I already did the. I was actually gonna ask if I can move over here, but I already did the movement, so it's fine. You already did the movement, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's turn. All right, so that ends Milo's turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. How far down is this thing on the ground? It is on the ground. It has landed. Um, it is kick. at Eskin level. <laughs> I am. I am going to kickflip off the fucking side of this tree. Hell yeah! And whip out the great axe. Kickflip and twist. It. Do it. <laughs> Babe. Oh! oh! Action surge. Okay, you swing and it manages to kind of duck out of the way, almost serpent-like in nature, not what a bird would do. So it kind of throws you off and you action surge and immediately go for another swing. Go for it. It's a 12, right? 12? Yeah. I'm so sorry. It just oh, misses. God. Okay. As you Hold go on. for a second swing, you cleave through the chest and it sprays out a bunch of maggots, but it's not enough to do damage to it, unfortunately. All right. Let's -a go. <sighs> All right, is that end your turn, Gaius? I have nothing else. All right, Kai, it is now your turn. As this thing is like slowly stitching itself back together, as like the bugs are running up the side of the leg and kind of reforming in the chest cavity, it is still like kind of. It doesn't have eyes, but its intent is still on you. Uh, once Milo runs, that is scary. Uh, I'm gonna use the disengage action and peace out. You got it. You. Disengage and you peace out. All right, turn. All right, that brings us to top of the turn order. Otho, it is now your turn. All right, I see this. I see this eagle glowing like a beacon. Correct. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You All have right. advantage on it. Saber's coming buddy. out. God, I love that spell. <laughs> when it hits, it's great. When it misses, it's it really yeah. hurts. Oh, it just yeah. Got all right, you Boy, got advantage, about? buddy. Come on. Yeah. There That's you go. Hey, 15, 15 hits. Uh, that'll be 11 slashing damage. You fling out your dagger, or your saber, actually, because you run. Yeah, yes. you run and charge forward and slash down into this thing's neck, whatever its neck is, with your saber for 11 points of damage. It slumps to the ground dead. Sorry, real quick. What what are you supposed to be rolling for your sneak attack damage? Uh, Just I am rolling one d six. Okay. 
for level for some two. reason the the formula says rolling one plus one d zero roll 20 is funny yeah the it formula says is being funky. in there well yeah, yeah it, it says, says you rolled a zero on the d6 that's for a modifier a the plus one. bracket zero modifier means there's no modifier added okay usually the numbers in in red ind indicate that it's like a natural one on the die yeah so when it's a zero and it's implied confused. it's it's fine it's working it's it's rolling okay. it properly it's okay. basically not adding a modifier there's a modifier of zero yeah i rolled uh, like a four last time so yeah, okay. yeah. Just making sure. so one second 11. all right it slumps to the ground dead and let's see if it stays dead <laughs> i hey everyone's I hit that favorite thing. message i hit that thing with radiant damage if that matters you watch as it kind of almost begins to like you know like a sandcastle how a sandcastle gets hit with water and it kind of begins to like dissolve it kind of does that for a brief moment before it begins to kind of stitch itself back up and then stands to its full height once more. Unfortunately, it's undead fortitude keeping it alive. After I hit it with with Radiant? Really? That yeah. wasn't the final blow. Wow, okay. Because I know, well, the thing is, is that it worked. That's how it worked with the zombies. I wasn't sure if it worked the same way here, so apparently not. Uh, if well. it's, it's the killing blow has to be radiant damage oh, yeah. or crit, okay. yeah. Okay, my bad. So well, Let's see if I can bonus action offhand with a dagger. Do it again. I'll fucking do it again. That's a... Whoa. That hits. Uh, for... Uh, That's going to be three. three. Yes, three piercing damage. Three piercing damage. So it has to be the DC. Nope. As you go and stab it, you kind of like wrench down as more maggots kind of fall out from where the body was once was. And as you wrench the dagger back, it is still standing. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's all I got. Keep all right. E scan. It is now your turn. <laughs> uh, uh, fight it. Uh. No. <laughs> no, that's a it's terrible idea. It's made of bugs. Why would you tell me hey, to do that? Lizards eat bugs. I. That's racist. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Uh, it's like Rebus is not the only attack. one experiencing a microaggression. I know. <laughs> as long as someone doesn't tell me to crave the mineral. <laughs> um. So if I do guiding bolt here, it's at disadvantage, right? Disadvantage, yeah. But if mm -hmm. I make distance, it's not. But if I try and leave, I might die. So, can I? <clears throat> yeah, uh, Eastkin's gonna kind of like duck, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge to the other side of the eagle. Okay. Uh, and as he kind of ducks under the flailing appendages of this thing, he's gonna remove uh, Mira's staff from his back, and as he stands next to Gaius, he'll slam it down on the ground in front of him and go, Get away! And I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave! Okay. So a con save, I believe? It <laughs> is a... Yes, con save. Alright. Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, that's gonna be a seven. So I think that fails. That definitely fails. So they take 11 thunder take damage. 11 thunder damage and be pushed 10 feet away. All right. Imagine, if you will, a bowl of Rice Krispies <laughs> with a depth charge that just exploded in it. <laughs> I'm never eating Rice Krispies again. Sorry. It's a size accurate. For us. I'm sorry. God, it's like As I'm playing you... Dark Tide let loose the thunder wave it explodes and the eagle's feathers rupture and you watch as all the insects kind of burst out from it kind of lessening its size and making it a little bit more cobbled together and as it kind of scrambles back to its feet almost like lolling from one side to the other like an understuffed doll it kind of stands back up and it definitely looks like it took a lot of damage from that where does it move uh it is still standing right in front of you uh east guns back. oh right yes yeah, knocked, knocked back. back 10 feet it gets moved. Let's do this one. Boom, right there. Cool, reaction. Uh, force movement force doesn't... Force movement does pop. not invoke reactions. Genius. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure... Uh, that's only five feet. Yeah, yeah, one more. Sorry. Yeah. Boop, there we go. Unfortunately, uh, it does not slam into anything additionally. It kind of uproots some of the shrubs, but because it's a large creature, it's not really impeded. Sure. Right on. Uh, Iskan will turn towards Gaius, and you'll see uh, light from his eyes start to fizzle and fade out as he looks towards you. 
Okay, go get him. And Just that's nod. gonna have to be turn. All right. That brings us around to the eagle's turn. Cough. Just kidding. Oh. Scream. <laughs> Wait, no, uh, no. <laughs> it was a prank, bro. <laughs> Otho, the eagle in front of you sees you in its way and is going to first attempt to reach out with its claw attack. Uh, ooh, a nine. Does not hit. You I'm kind of with my saber. You bring up your saber and it scrapes across your saber and you kind of duck, but as you kind of look around, that headpiece whips around and goes to stab towards you. Oh. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> that is going to be a soft 20 to hit. Oh, bingo. oh, yeah. I need a constitution saving throw, please. Here I go! A seven? Oh, God. You are now poisoned. The, the poison status, right? The poison status effect, yep. Okay. Uh, you poison, take... Poison specifically designed to poison Otho. Otho's six poison. points of piercing damage, and you are now poisoned. As this thing strikes into your shoulder, and you just feel a flaring pain in your shoulder as you are now poisoned. Gross. This one... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go for you, Gaius, actually. Alright, let's go. Gonna go with his Talon attack. Uh, that is definitely gonna hit. That's a 22. Yeah. You take. <clears throat> Oof, that's a lot of damage. Uh, nine points of slashing damage from the Talons, and it whips around that that stinger. Yep. Uh, that is going to be a 13 to hit. That misses. All right, it kind of scrapes you with its claws and then you watch as it kind of brings up that stinger for a finishing blow, but you bring up your great ax or you're holding the great ax, right? Yeah, I sure am. And you kind of use it as a shield as it kind of tings up against that, almost like buckling you at your knees. Oh, I just uh, great sport at this blow, let's go. That ends the Eagle's turn. Milo, it is now your turn. Uh, seeing all this carnage. Yep. Uh, hang on. I gotta actually place. There we go. Milo dashes into the middle of all this, raises his holy symbol, and shouts out, "Enough of this!" and uh, explodes with radiance of the dawn. All right. So let me. There con you go. save, right? Uh, yeah, it was a con save. DC. Where's my spell save? Uh, DC fourteen. And they will take half damage if they pass. Okay, the first one takes half damage. I don't know how much it's going to matter, but it takes half damage. The second mm -hmm. one uh, fails. So it is 2d10 plus my cleric level, which is 2. Okay. So the damage is uh, 11. 11 radiant 11 damage. points of damage. The one in front of you, Otho, as it reaches up, it's exploded by the light and just smears across the ground. You begin to see the inner workings of this creature as it is killed, as all the worms begin to tunnel into the earth to hide. And it is just bone. Sorry for those at home. Bone, maggots, and feathers. Ugh. Gross. The second one takes 11 points of radiant damage. Once again is exploded and is looking very rough, but is still standing. I hoist my shield and call turn. All right, Gaius, it is now your turn. If I scoot my way over here, is that, uh, is that One flank? down, one down, you're good. There we go. There you go. All right, before I make any collorful statements, let me see if I even hit this thing. 17, which 19. is 19. That hits. All right. Well, uh, Gaius, like, having the force of the of the axe being pushed into him as a shield, mutters in giant to himself. <laughs> I'm not your original. But allow me to bring you honor in combat as I dash behind this thing and I go for an upward swing for 13 slashing damage. Let's go. You strike down cleaving this thing in half and let's see if it dies. Please die. And you watch as it cleaves in half. It kind of lifts up its wings in a final defiance and then slaws to the ground and begins to disintegrate. Uh, 
I hold the axe over my head and let out a fucking victorious roar. You all kind of catch your breath, Otho. You feel terrible. Yeah, Otho just hits hits the ground on a knee, saber stabbed into the ground, and he's just covering his mouth, trying not to retch. Uh, Eastgun's gonna dart his head around, and uh, once he spots Kai, he's gonna make a beeline over to Kai, and as he passes, um, as he passes Milo, uh, take a look at Otho. I'm on it. And I'm gonna take a look at Kai. Um, how badly injured are you, Kai? Uh, you don't have to give me a number. Just describe His shoulder's it. fucked up. He, it doesn't look like he's using one of his arms. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on you. No, don't do that. Too late. It's happening. Take your medicine. <laughs> Can't stop. No, it tastes like fucking cough syrup. Uh, 11 HP back. Ugh. Oh, it tastes like it tastes like crepe and not bubble gum. I hate it here. Why did they make uh, Why did they make fish flavored vitamins? <laughs> uh, that's not what fish oil means. <laughs> yeah, so you got 11 HP back, and Iskan's sort of like, like, uh, almost like a, a worried mother hen, kind of like checking your arm and like kind of gently moving it and like trying to make eye contact with you to like say, "Is this hurt? Are you good? How does it feel?" Uh, you you recognize it's probably the the it it is the same shoulder that got jacked up with the pirates, so it's not mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. He's not bleeding out, but it's not great. Right. Uh, Milo, in the meantime, will uh, get Otho propped up, uh, lying down on his backpack, trying to get him still. I've gotten no way of carrying it, but I might be able to help ease you out of it. Um, Mani, would any sort of medicine check not clear it, but at least keep him from getting worse or anything like uh, that? It would give you some information about it. So if you want to. That would be good, check. actually. Yeah. Oh, come on. Eight. Ugh. That was a two. Eight. <laughs> this is very foreign to you because the nature of this is incredibly strange. Mm. Um, it doesn't look like he's going to die, but it definitely looks like it's a very strong poison and it doesn't seem like it's going to go away for a very long time. We just got in here, too. Yeah, welcome home. Those eagles, they look directly at <coughs> Kai. Yeah, no, I it's don't... Fi it's fine. It's just, it's just the orb. It's, it's not just fine. Move. Yeah, exactly. We, we, we don't have time to wait around and lick our Yeah, remember here. the we range? Everything in here is going to want to kill me. So, but yeah, we should move. Can Otho walk? stabs his... Uh, saber into the ground to hoist himself up to his feet. He shakily knees wobbling a bit. Milo uh, will get under you. Sheathes his saber. He's sweating. He's got dark circles under his, his eyes and he's got a little bit of drool coming down one side of his mouth. But he's hobbling forward. That's Gaius, rude. can you give us a hand? Gaius meanders over but he also whips out a fucking knife. May it not be the best idea to carve the, a, a wound to get the poison out? I don't think it works that way. Well, then I, uh, I hoist him. Okay. You are hoisted. And as you guys continue forward, he scan. Mm-hmm. You feel that presence again. <sighs> and after this, something about it really concerns you. And as you guys head northward to try and reconvene with Lynn, now back in the mouth of Eason Vale, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, boy. Bye, Bye, Austin. Welcome I'm so back. Bye, Austin. I'm Bye, so happy Austin. I got the narrative kill with the fucking great axe. I'm so that happy. That was great, yeah. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. Episode 26. Episode 26. Worm Eagles. Imagine you were walking back to your cursed home of Eason Vale. No. Oh, Worm? Oh. <laughs> Monty! Good job. What? Oh, yeah. thank you. That was, that was terrifying and gross. Was fun. fun. 
fun little hoo-hoo thing. You could have actually run into one of these on your way back from uh, Herflin, actually. They were no, I remember. We, like, narrowly avoided them. You saw them. one, yeah. Yeah. You saw one yeah. of them. But you didn't have the orb on you at the time, so it was pretty mm -hmm. lucky. Thanks for ruining Rice Krispies for me. Sorry! <laughs> Listen, I, I'm very sorry, but What did they do to you? To be yeah. fair, guys, Rice Krispies are just baked rice. Like, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Oh, okay, Thanks for ruining rice for me. But, 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 <laughs> but, but, okay, counter argument? Screw you, they're still a good snack. <laughs> All right, hey, real quick. Um, yes, can I can someone... go ahead and lie down, well, you're good. Not, not just that, but can someone put a link to uh, the drive up in general? Because I don't have that link anymore because it's in my notes, oh, which is in my yeah. drive. We I have we have a link. On... I we we have yeah. a link. It's it's the pinned message in audio submissions. Okay. So if you just click the pinned message in there, you should be able to access it. Yeah. All right. Also, I'm very sorry. I don't know how else to describe the worms like that. And like, <laughs> I think you my did bad. great. They're, they're full of protein. I think you did great, Monty. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. Can we have ferret, please? Oh yes, we should probably. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we end on this dramatic music. <sighs> <laughs> really drive home the fact that Rice Krispies Let's are look at some forever. fantastic You will leave Rice Krispies too. alone! Fuck! <laughs> I'll be a Rice Krispies defender! Alright, y'all have fun. I'm gonna check out for the yeah, night. Yeah, feel better, right. guys. Man. Guys, go everybody, follow everybody. Gaijin Goomba everywhere. Yeah, every, everybody wish Gaijin a good recovery from his sickness. Yeah, go check. Uh, new video coming out. It's a spicy take on uh, language software. I know that sounds dumb, but I'm about to kick over a hornet's nest that needs to be kicked, so it's going to oh be good. Oh my god, Muffin Mage, Lice Crispy. <laughs> Oh, that's what we should call the episode, Lice Krispies. I like, I like, I like water under the bridge. Water that's under good. the bridge that's is good. very good. That's good. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Gaijin. Feel better. I will not fucking take this slander shit. I like Rice Krispies. You know why everyone's there. getting oh, mad at oh, me? Sure. I'm, sure. I'm not the one who ruined Rice Krispies. Everyone's like, oh, Mark, shut up. I'm like, I, it's rice, guys. It's baked rice plus milk. Like, that's not... There are so many other cereals out there that actually have, a, you know, a flavor to them. Like Crave, which is a cereal I like. To right. I Please sponsor us. <laughs> no! Hard oh right now. That would be such a random sponsor to have Crave cereal. That would be amazing. Well, if I die hard dice and... Crave? <laughs> that would be amazing. Please sponsor us. <laughs> For real. Beyond. Yo, can we actually get sponsored by a cereal? That'd be fucking sick. That'd, That'd be, be funny. I'd be so God. down for it. Eat your heart out, Critical Role. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, we got Kata Crave. What first, do you got, Matt? First, <laughs> first Kellogg's sponsor stream. <laughs> All right, Connor, take us home. All right. Uh... Thanks for watching the episode, everybody. Let's yeah. go horn and then see what we're all up to. Uh, Zito, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, I've been playing this weird fucking Pokemon game called Pokemon Wilds, which is it's Gen 2 Minecraft. Hmm. And it's going to get a multiplayer update next update. So I can't fucking wait to check that shit out. It's, I saw you get jumped by like 50 cacturn. That was really funny. That was so fucking good. I that can't was wait. so funny. That that game is poking to try and get like shit up to Gen 9. Because there's shit up to Gen 7 in that game. Wow. Yeah, no, it's fucking awesome. Uh, beyond that, Cart's got a big update to have a new uh, boost mechanic. And it just changed the game dramatically. That I want to fucking play it again over the weekend. It, it's like... It adds basically five different ways for you to boost, so it's just basically like every Mario Kart smashed together. It's fucking awesome. That's awesome. Uh, beyond that, D&D uh, &D stuff is getting rewritten. I'm actually putting out a uh, one, of, one of three true elemental races that I wanted to put out last year that I wasn't able to because of life reasons. But uh, I'm going to put either... So I, I told everyone on Twitter, you have a choice. Uh... You have magnets, clouds, or electrum. Pick your poison, and I'll give it to you for free soon. I know what I'm not picking. Oh, uh, please. You're not I picking know. clouds. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clearly, Monty's an electrum person. So. 
Yeah, tr clearly. I have, clearly. A, I have a story to tell you after the stream is over, Zio, about why I actually really fucking hate Electrum. Not just Mon because of DMC, Monty, but now Money, 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 money. It's okay. No one likes Electrum. Okay. Good, good. Thank you. I'm I'm neutral on it. I like it better than Rice Krispies. Chaotic, neutral. Yeah, you should have just said a bunch of Electrum flies out when they spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Useless currency. I'm done. Just like fucking. That's Scott real Coleman terrifying. The hedgehog. <laughs> that would be the most terrifying. I don't know how to convert this. <laughs> All right. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, when I'm not dissing Rice Krispies, you can find me on Twitter.com <laughs> at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. No, I will not feed her Rice Krispies on Instagram. Don't ask. Uh, tomorrow, I am playing Digimon World 2 with my friend LJ. It's going to be great. We're going to jump back in with the Blue Falcons and try and make Metal Greymon our friend because uh, we used the toy plane to befriend a toy Agumon to trade for a snow Agumon. It's a long, complicated story. But we're going to have fun. I'm excited to get back to it. And, uh, yeah, more streams, hopefully, uh, in this winter period of the new year. I'm, uh, I'm finding myself with a little bit more free time than I originally thought I was going to have, so we should be able to get a more regular schedule back and underway. Uh, seeing everybody at least twice a week uh, going forward. So uh, stay tuned. I'll have a, a schedule pinned out, you know, so probably by the end of the weekend uh, when I have a better idea of how I want to break down my days. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, watch Blue Lock, uh, the, the English dub on Crunchyroll. I play Kuan. Uh, we've been doing a lot of really good work on this show. I love it so much. It's been so much fun. Please watch it. Uh, that's it. I'm done. Bye. Chad, I'm feeling a serial microtransaction. Uh, a serial microtransaction? Oh, yes. God. They got microtransactions in cereal now? I see. That's another reason to hate Rice Krispies. They got microtransactions. Purchase the sugar hours. DLC. For I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, calling, I'm calling John Twitch. <laughs> if, you, if you subscribe for $14.99 a month, you'll get a free flavor shot with every bowl. Ugh. Yo, who wants to, like, get down on a HelloFresh sponsorship? <laughs> I'm fucking escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Rice Krispies. Space. <laughs> Spice. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco via both Instagram and Twitter and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Very nice. Hot oh, damn. Mark that, guys. Somebody time it. We'll need that number for next week to see if he beats it. It's your PB for 20, uh, 23. Yeah. There you go. In the new year. Monty, where can they find you and what are you up to? Oh my God. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at Mon uh, twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue and on YouTube at Monty Glue as well. Um, I, there might be Dungeon of the Mad Mage tomorrow. It's kind of up in the air. I'm going to double check with the player who's missing to see if it's okay if we can continue without them because we've done so in the past before. But um, definitely check that out. It's all on YouTube. There was a really harrowing fa fight that happened recently, and there's a lot of fun little goofs that happen in there. Um, beyond that, on Monday, I'm playing Mass Effect, which is a ton of fun. I play it with Bosco and Arkolf. Um, last session, what do we do? I, I keep wanting to eat the aliens. That is something that keeps happening. And I'm exploring planets. And next time, I hope to do more plotline Have stuff, you gotten rid so. of Ashley yet? Oh, yeah, she's fucking gone. Good. And every time yeah, Bosco's like, take the humans with you, I'm like... I just don't do that, because why would I do that? <laughs> You're fired. Did we shoot her into, like, a fucking sun with a probe? Oh, yes. Also, I'll be trying to post a bit more art, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Oh, yeah. And Connor, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Well, I'm not getting progressively sicker. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where mid I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, probably looking to, in the new year, shake up my stream schedule, doing a bit more. I might be streaming a bit more, uh, but, we'll, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to be streaming some, some more, some more out there stuff. 
uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully my my screen my my scream schedule. Yes, your scream will be schedule. Scream for loud. Schedule will be uh, uh, pretty interesting this year. Uh, I hope. But uh, yeah. Uh, also check out my DMs Guild, where I release uh, fifth edition content, uh, including a bunch of subclasses that are available right now. Uh, yeah. Other than that, um, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades, oh. Rice Krispies. I mean, <laughs> no, it's here somewhere. I got. It. Yeah, it's just a fucking box of Rice Krispies. Oh, it's actually Die Hard Dice. Die Hard yes. Dice! I like Rice Krispies. Ah. I eat them. Don't eat those, yeah, no. <laughs> Although, they probably would taste better than Rice Krispies. I feel, they did a poll where they asked, like, they're like, should, can you eat Die Hard Dice? And there's actually people voting, and I feel like we had a hand in that somehow. <laughs> oh, no. It's possible. I don't want to take credit for it, because that's, like, it's very, like, speculative, but, like, I wonder. I don't eat wonder. Die Hard Dice, guys, please. <laughs> please don't, Unless actually. Unless really tasty. Unless they actually come out with edible dice, please don't eat Die Hard yeah, Dice. Yeah, don't eat the dice. Are they will... made of Rice Krispies? Yeah, I said edible dice. Giant and, and, Boom. and I'm asking, Mike, are they up. made with Rice Krispies? <laughs> Those aren't inedible, so. You motherfucker, I swear to God. Yes, just I, know that the die hard dice, I know the Die Hard Dice look shiny and look like they're filled with calories, but they are not. They are filled with rolls and good luck. <laughs> Monty, you're supposed to make them sound unappetizing. Yeah, so like, people are you, don't are you eat trying them. to get them to eat that to gain their no. power? Oh, cubes of good luck. Don't mind if I do. No, mm, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a new shape in Bucky Charms. <laughs> you are what you eat, and I'm dicey. Damn, that's oh, good. Shit. I gotta that's write that one. down. That's a good that's tagline. Really good. <laughs> uh, the, the, whoa, whoa. The, the thoughts and opinions of Monty Glue do not necessarily affect the, the <laughs> unexpectables as a whole. Todd's uh, gonna call you can purchase. You, you can purchase uh, Die Hard Dice at dieharddice.com and use the code unexpectables to save 10% on your order. And what you do with them after that is your business. <laughs> <laughs> we are not held our, responsible. Our third sponsor for this evening is Stroopwaffle? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> are, are we just reaching for sponsors? Ball soda. It's really good. <laughs> Sponsored oh, by God, balls. That's, that's a callback. <laughs> no, it's real. I want ball soda. Give me some fun. <laughs> but seriously, Dean D Beyond, please call me. <laughs> yo, check, yo, check us out. Yo, Red Rock Ginger Ale, check us out. <coughs> I'm just saying. Hey Lowe's, uh, can we talk? <laughs> Yo, Home Depot, uh... Lowe's? Yeah, really <laughs> but why? <laughs> yeah, wait, why, why Lowe's? <laughs> so out of no, left field that you've awakened Bosco. I need what, to build a new booth, so... What fucking project do you got going on? I gotta build a new booth. Yo, Lowe's, hit us up. Please. <laughs> I need lumber. <laughs> Save big money at Lenards. Yo, Chrysler, <laughs> can, I, can we get a word? <laughs> God, yo, Connor, take us away, please, help. <laughs> yo, yo, listen, Toyota, no, Toyota, no, listen, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Toyota got him. The unexpected mobile. It's oh my god, worry. please. <laughs> I would drive the uh, hell out of that. Let's the see. Verizon Unexpectables Halftime Show, brought to oh you by god. Sprint. Brought to you by Sprint, god. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bosco. <laughs> That joke is for like me and two other people, but thank you. Here, here, here Connor, I'll give you the bit, what we dropped on. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this was the last one. This is the one we were up to. Which one? It was Bubba uh, Bob. Right? In general, it's ah. Bubba Bob. Bubba Bob. Bubba Bob. It's the gotta be, gotta be finger licking Georgia Gold uh, KFC pre show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The OSW fans in the audience. I was gonna say, people are quoting uh, the, the, the legends, and we've been contacted by them several times. So many times. Very politely told them no. I'm, 
But okay. we are working with Kellogg's to get a Die Hard Dice oh, into every God. box of Rice Krispies. Yeah, God. a Die Hard God. Dice branded Listen, box of Rice Krispies. Let me Krispies. tell you guys about Raid Shout. They're holding me hostage to make me. Come on. <laughs> let Joe Cat uh, go on this date with that orc lady, please. <laughs> Please help me. I'm trapped in a warehouse in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is Bob, Bob, Bob? He's around here somewhere. Hey, Bob, 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 where are you? Tell us. You there? Where are you? Don't Bob, talk Bob? to yourself. Just, you know. Yeah, don't tell us where you live. <laughs> you know. Where are you uh, at right now? I don't now? see the exact thing. I'm just going to start. De can you give us your longitude and latitude, please? Uh, Weed Pixie, thank you for the 12 months of prime <laughs> subage. My sub baby is now a year old. Happy New Year's, everybody. Mr. Nani, thank you for the 31 <laughs> months of prime subage. Can't wait to see a full Goblin Town slowly build up across this bridge. I'm so excited for Goblin Town. You have no idea. Oz195, thank you for the 30 months. Zach Arduo, thank you for being a tier one sub to Fred Fredberger. Yes! <laughs> yes. Overlord Corn Nut, thank you for the 33 months. <laughs> Happy New Year. Here's to another year of D&D Adventures. Gin no Kaze, thank you for the 33 months. Ruby Orchid 14, thank you for the raid. Uh, Ascend Venomed, thank you for the 10 months of Prime Subage. Another sub month, another opportunity to tell Monty to get a new background image. We've seen the Windows logo burned into a monitor before. What? 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 Good. Monty by Windows? No. <laughs> oh man. Please Did activate your Windows. That would man, that idea. that one hurt. I guess that's why they call it window pane. I was gonna say I don't see any windows anywhere. I'm very this confused. Might, this may be an honest to god one guy scenario. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a little confused. <laughs> hey, maybe the Windows image is burned into your monitor, buddy. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> should check yours. Have you Activate gotten tilted on video games as of late? <clears throat> Next. The Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. Hey. Tiki the Troll, thank you for the eight months. I suddenly can't help but imagine Kai's expressions watching a goblin business and martial arts school in action. <laughs> the martial arts in the front, I'm building business an classes in the top. You can't stop me. I'm building an industry right here, right now. It would just look like Kowloon. That would be kind of awesome. Goblin Town looks like Kowloon. Hell yeah. Twisty the Kitty, thank you for the 33 months. <clears throat> Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the raid to the party of six. Uh, Zacho Duo, thank you for getting a tier one sub two snack crackle pop rice crispy. Good. Just one, uh, one rice crispy. Just one rice crispy. Henry Skelliman, thank you for the nine months of prime subage. Reasons why Fred Fred Burger is superior to cheese. One, he likes nachos and frozen yogurt. Two, he can spell his name real good. F R E D. F uh, Game R Master. <laughs> wait, wait, we heard you. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Game Master Ant, thank you for the 32 months. Ugh. Still forced to watch Twitch in 160p. Why is YouTube working fine, but Twitch is wobbled up? Hmm, that's weird. I'm not sure, but be careful when you're making up words like that. Yeah, check your uh, check your hardware acceleration settings. Yeah. Tix Dixel, thank you for the uh, <laughs> 100 bits. Episode title, pay the toll. If they're only they were trolls. I, I like water under the bridge. I yeah, love I really water. like water really? under the bridge. So, uh, Kiwi2516, the 200 bits. I have to say, my favorite part of this episode was Kai talking with the Great Defier slash Necrecta. I love her, even if she's evil. That sounds like um, something. I seem uh, crazy, but I'm a don't, tyrant. Like. don't worry, we can reform that. I don't care that she's bitchy and violet, and one day she will go and notice me and tell me politely to remain quiet. You can I make a religion out of don't. No, don't. <laughs> don't. Do not. <laughs> she may be evil, but she's also dead. Or is she? That's a question mark at the end? I don't know. 
Are the gods even truly alive? Who knows? What concepts living Next. <laughs> uh, your conscience, thank you for the 100 bits. We return to East and Vale and Welcome Back starts playing in minor key. <laughs> oh my god, welcome back, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Personally. back, welcome back, welcome back. Personally, I prefer the boys are back in town. Uh, you don't want to hear that in minor key. The boys More like, the, back more more like the bones are back in town. The bones are uh, back in town. Camel Draws, thank you for the 25 bits. Was almost crying during the eagle fight. I have a massive phobia of maggots, so that was fun. Otherwise, Sorry. great sessions to start the year off. It's, a, it's okay, Monty. Imagine being that guy getting a million emails because you put spiders in a D&D &D game. Oh. That was a fun week. Yeah, you're not allowed okay. to use spiders. Spiders are a thing. So you can't use them. That's the rules. <laughs> uh, Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Those goblins finally got what's coming to them. Did they? Reform. Yeah, forgiveness. Yeah, reform. They, they don't. They don't look dashed on the rocks beneath the waterfall. Wow, Connor, a little above game, bleeding into the end game, eh? Yeah, seriously, dude, that's really mean to the rocks. Yeah, they don't deserve that. They don't. Those rocks work hard to be under that water. And everyone thought I was gonna be the fucking murder hobo. They're just trying to <laughs> rock. <laughs> uh. Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. Great session tonight. Now, uh, <laughs> now for the better stream on Saturday in Gateway. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> got you back. <laughs> well, you're you're paying that guy, mail. aren't you? <laughs> your checks in the mail. <laughs> and remember, the Gateway is brought to you by the Home Depot, where you can. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh my God. Imagine if Gateway got like the fucking Coca Cola sponsorship list. Super go. Duper Mart <laughs> sponsors. And by the Weather Channel. Holy fuck. Gateway Keep brought going. to you by Pepsi and Mentos. It's as explosive as our next episode. <laughs> Just like Pilk. To, uh, Milo is now Sunny Milo Roll, says Veil of Darkness uh, with a 100 bits. I'm not okay. sure what that means. I don't I know either. Did you pronounce that right? I'm not sure. Gnome Depot. Oh my god, that's yep. good. Uh, oh man. Uh Plus one. Your conscience leave the 45 bits. It's okay, guys. Serial can be fun again. We just need to get Kratos back. <laughs> oh you lie! No! Look! No! Hurry! No! 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 We're the never left. gonna Sorry. leave! <laughs> <laughs> uh Hephaestus said that anyone who touches Special K dies. <laughs> and you believe him? He was he was taken away from Olympus. That is exactly why I believe him. Uh, Volk five five one. Think of the one hundred bits. Rice Krispies are basic. You're basic, Mark Allen Jr. I am. You can define me in a series of ones, zeros, fives, and tens. Shoot. Black but fair, I think of the 100 bits. Electrum, it's not an element. <laughs> Take out the trash corner. Alexa. Yes, yes it is. Ah. It, it's gold and silver. Both are metallic elements. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, it's what the government does with your gold and silver. They invested uh, in noble gases. There you go. Callum draws, think of the 25 bits. A nice bowl of dice krispies. <laughs> oh, I could, I could feel the lawsuit <laughs> surging. <laughs> Volk five five one. Think of the one hundred bits edible dice. Oh no. Bubba Bob. Think of the one hundred or the five hundred bits. Die hard dice look as tasty as the keepers. Ah, uh, so delicious. Stop yeah, it's one of Die Hard Dice. That's their new slogan, isn't it, for the, the Easter season coming up? It's Die Hard <laughs> Dice. They're not edible, but we can't stop you. Finders, Just keepers, slurring. rollers, eaters. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> oh, uh, 
Toss 103, think of the five bits. So I eat the die hard dice to gain their luck. Thanks for the advice, Monty. Oh! I told you, Monty. Don't put that on her. That was me. That was my no, joke. She's the one who no, said it's they're definitely on Monty. They're cubes of luck. And I was Bubba the one who said lucky charms. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. I'm at home playing Minecraft while listening. Let's see. Ooh. Have fun. You can oh, eat diehard dice in Minecraft. Watch out for your O'Brien. <laughs> and the Enderman. Uh, oh, yeah. Griffin Scald, thank you for the 18 months of Prime dice shaped cereal. <laughs> Die Hard Dice, they're magically decisive. <laughs> oh my God. Hey! Muffin, Muffin Mage, that was so Muffin good. Mage. And there Muffin it is. Muffin Mage is so on fire because they came up with Lice Krispies too. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Bro, plus 10. Muffin when we, when we write our serial strong. anime, you, you're allowed to come along for the ride. We, we Muffin work. Mage is a naming consultant at this rate, because holy sure. shit. Yeah, seriously, Zenlita, take notes. Like, Muffin's on fire. <laughs> I love Muffin Mage. Woot. Speaking of <laughs> Zenlita, uh, Zen with the 100 bits. Before the party got there, the goblins raided a produce cart. It was strawberry. Oh. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Took me a you second. Get, I was like, to be it. fair, somebody had to follow Muffin Mage, so I appreciate it. You, you have Gauss you 21. <laughs> Gauss 21, thank you for the five bits. This is the taste of someone who has attuned to a pearl of Necrecta. Are you okay, referring uh, to me or Bosco? Probably our cereal. Know. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Ghostbuster jokes, Eastgan getting canceled, and the best goblins. Uh, getting their bridge. I fucking love the Unexpectables. <laughs> now you have serial talk. I can't perceive if you're so racist, Eastgun. I can't believe Eastgun was the first one to get canceled. <laughs> uh, Goss 21, think for the five bits. Okay, real talk. What CR level is the Easter Bunny? Uh, I think he's 21, actually, he's isn't like 21, he? 21, 22. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's below Santa, I know that. <laughs> Connor, calm down. <laughs> the game's over. I think he genuinely is like level 21. <laughs> I know which book you're talking about, too. Yeah. Faceless 42, think of the 15 bits. Die Hard Dice. Mm, lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> the and Homer voice. Tyrant Chaos, thank you for the 33 months. Wow. Happy New Year, Unexpectables. Happy New Aww, Year to you. Thank it's you. all of you. Yeah. Happy New Year. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks what a for great jumping one to back end in on. with us. Anton? 2024? No, 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 no not the chaos. year. So, the comment. The message. It was very, very nice. Oh, okay, I was about to say end on the year. I'm like, fuck, yes, only four days? Monty's, Monty has decided we've had a good run, but it's over now. <laughs> end, <laughs> end all of existence this year. That's it. Quick, before something yeah. stupid happens, we'll get us to 2024. <laughs> Who so, we uh, raid? yeah, uh, I have Bracky is streaming and so is Thero. They mm -hmm. have very yeah. few viewers. I have, uh, well, yeah, very few viewers. Then, if that's the case, then don't listen to me. I had, a, I, had a, I had a couple of friends, but they're high up there. Maybe, maybe well, let's Bra go for Bra 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 Bracky. Bracky's yeah. doing art. We should definitely raid Bracky. He's doing art. Yeah, do it up. Yeah. What if he's drawing a butt? That'll Hang be a raid. I'm double checking. Oh, drawing a butt. He's I'll not look. drawing a butt. He's okay. drawing okay. Pokemon, he's, so you're good. He's oh, he's also sick. He's dangerously yeah. ebbing on it. He could possibly draw a butt if you ask him. No, this is all front facing. There are no butts in this picture. We're, we're seeing. What are you talking about? That's what breasts are. Thank you, Bosco. They're the butts of the chest. Our raid message will be: Are you drawing a butt? He's got a front oh, butt. Oh God, you guys are terrible. <laughs> all right, go. Type, type front butt. Front butt. Oh, front God. butt. Front butt. <laughs> Frumpy. See I'll you see you all next week. Save me from these degenerates. I'm the pure one and I got canceled. <laughs>